rocks to show you tonight. Lots of purples. Appreciate you guys. That's called a hand pan. That is in the key of, uh, it would be D minor, except it's a C sharp, so it's pretty close though. Uh, that's a tune, uh, that's a ditty, I don't know, a noodle that I've been messing around with for about 12 years. Uh, welcome to our show. My name is Rusty James. I am your host. Our company is Throwing Stones. We've been in business for 20 years. Uh, we have traveled all over the world to obtain our stones. I've taken over 50 international trips, and we have developed contacts all over the globe. Uh, we have developed authentic relationships. We have uh, uh, developed fair trade relationships, and we support artisanal mining all over the planet. Uh, every morning and every evening, and sometimes during the day, I get calls and messages and emails uh, showing us stones from all corners of the globe and we've helped lots of people in lots of different places to determine if what they're finding is worthy of bringing to market and uh, artisanal mining if you're not aware is one of the last true sovereign things that there is on this planet that hasn't been taken over by corporations uh, artisanal mining is something that you can do with your hands and your willpower you don't really need an education you just have to have the will and a little bit of luck and a lot of perseverance and you can create wealth with your hands and just by asking the earth and if you're lucky she will provide. So we support all that and we are here to show you lots of different things tonight and show you things that you've never seen before and uh, we are here for educational purposes as well as for providing stones for your collections and your healing and your practices and your altars and your lapidary interests and so on and so forth. So uh, welcome all of you new faces. Uh, we're glad to have you. I will go ahead and turn the camera around now and let's get started. I'll start showing you some stones. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pin my first comment here. It says to claim. Uh, right, skew and price. Uh, there's something else I'm supposed to write on that too that I'm not remembering. Maybe Shirley will tell me. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's, I'm going to post that, and I'm going to pin that, and welcome all the new faces, all the regular faces. We're glad to see you guys. Uh, we have a whole new lineup. Uh, shipping, yeah, shipping, I could probably do that. Shipping, uh, here, let me do it again here. Okay, so to claim state skew and price. Shipping USA starts at five dollars and international starts at fifteen dollars. That's probably good enough. Uh, we'll 
Well, tell them to invoicing. Uh, we do, yep, thanks Ninja Hayden. We just pinned the comment. I just had to remove it and do it over again. So uh, I appreciate you guys. All right, let's go. Let's look at some rocks. Rocks, 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 rocks. All right, first set of minerals. Minerals, first set of minerals that we are going to show you. <laughs> let's see if I can keep my composure. <laughs> Okay, we're going to show you rainbow quartzes. And this is rainbow inside of quartz crystal. Very good, rainbow. Oh, colors. Oh, very good. <laughs> okay, I'll try to act normal, even though it's really hard. Um, so these are crystals from Madagascar, and they all have rainbows inside of them, and they all are really good rainbows with lots of colors and all that good stuff, and they are cut and polished, and there's rainbows. Look at that. So I've got like five of these to show you, and the first one is $38, $841. Appreciate it, New Diamonds. I will always be myself. <laughs> even at my own expense um we have more of these and so you're welcome to dm us about anything if you have to dip out or if there's something else that you want to see we'll get to you after the show or first thing in the morning all our invoicing will take place tomorrow we, we invoice through shopify through our website it's really easy all that good stuff Rainbows. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, rainbow. <laughs> okay. So, this is the second rainbow crystal that I have to offer. And this, you can see, has a rainbow inside of clear quartz. And this is a slightly larger piece. And this one is $8.42 for $48. If you're not careful, I will talk all kinds of crazy. $48 is very, not very much some money. Okay, dokie, okay. Okay, and the next rainbow. I have a couple different rainbows here. Uh, get this here. So, rainbows. Prophecy stones. I have not shown them. I don't think I'm going to show them tonight. I have a huge stack of new things to show i'm happy to show you prophecy stones at any other time <clears throat> uh, we have lots of prophecy stones on our websites and we probably are due to list some more we also uh, i do have some wholesale prophecy stones actually i have one kilo that i'm going to show and this one is 35 dollars. this is not a prophecy stone this is a rainbow rainbow oh <laughs> Yoda like rainbow. Rainbow like Yoda. <laughs> Here's another one. And it's got all the do ra mi do re mi fa so la ti does that you want. Roji bivs and all that stuff. Do re mi fa so la ti do. Ah, I missed a note in there, but you get the point. Um, yep, yeah, so we got some rainbows inside of some crystals. Rainbow crystals. Rainbow crystals. $8.44 is $35. $35, very good price for you. I give you best price. Best price here. On the throne, throne stone have a best price. Okay. Here's another rainbow. This is the last rainbow that I have to show you. Uh, let me see if I can get the rainbow. Yep, there we go. Rainbow. Oh, where'd it go? Come on. Come on. Oh. 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 Rainbow. Oh. <laughs> E.T. like rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I have to entertain myself, too, since you guys aren't actually standing here. Um, I'm just really uh, here for myself. <laughs> Just kidding. Appreciate your new diamond store. I'm glad to have you here. We love you too. And let's see if I can sustain being a goofball for four hours. Yes, fermenter, mentor. Fermenter, I hope you're fermenting some um, cabbage. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Kimochi, very good for you. Kimochi, we have kimochi every day. This is the first one. And that one is $38. And let me 
see if I can get the rainbow. Uh, it's in there, I promise. All right, hold on, hold on. Uh... All right, there it goes. Missed the skew, 841. Thank you, Fermenter Mentor, for getting us off to a great start. We appreciate you. Very much grateful for you and all of you are friends and family. Thank you. Okay, so that is the rainbow crystals that I have tonight. Um, if you, uh, yep, I got you for that 841. Thank you. Oh, I just, that's another thing I should probably say in the comments, but I'm not going to do that now. Uh, if for some reason your uh, comment is not repeated by me, your claim is not repeated by me, then I did not see it, and it has been shadow banned, and you need to repeat it again, and we will try our best, because we have multiple accounts open, to catch anything. Okay, so this is, uh, I guess you could call it a cabochon, it's more like a pocket piece. Unblock, yes, that's one way to say it. Uh, so this has a phantom, and it is over top of some pyrite here, which is kind of cool. Phantoms are not abnormal or really rare, but phantoms over top of pyrite is not very common. And that's what we've got going on here. So there's like some pyrite here, and there's a really cool phantom. And you can see how there's like a little window, and like somebody like broke through the like the tent right there or something, and all good. Uh, so that guy, that's the only one I have of this. That one is eight forty six. It is eighty five dollars. Uh, for those of you just joining us, and for those of you who might have forgotten, uh, we are quartz junkies. Uh, we have a problem. Quartz inclusions are somewhat of an addiction. And, um, yeah, it's a problem. Uh, not a problem. It's a good problem. But we have a very strong affinity towards quartz inclusions. And they have a strong affinity towards us. And it is a symbiotic love relationship. And it's really awesome. So this is a dodecahedron of pyrite inside of a quartz sphere. Uh, there's actually two dodex in here and you can see there's a nice five-sided face um, here, let me get you the price here this is 160 for 847 porter brown bull doggies if it is to be yours you can um, put 847 and 160. Uh, this is the only pyrite sphere that i am showing tonight i do have some others but I was scrambling to get new, a totally new show together tonight. We did a show on Friday night on Facebook that went really well. That was our first Facebook show. And uh, we had to scramble for the last two days to get an entirely new set of stock together for you. Uh, we have a lot of stock. And I assume the crying is because of the price, but uh, I can assure you that a sphere like this for this quality is, that's a very healthy price. Um, it is definitely not common to find perfect dodecahedrons in quartz. The dodec itself is like a centimeter, and the sphere is like 2.5 centimeters, which is an inch. Anyhow. I will be leaving this here. I'm sure since it's a sphere, it's going to roll all over the table. Stop it. Mm -hmm. You stop it. Don't go up. Zuzu who? 847, I assume, is the one that you wanted. That's a typo, but that's cool. For 160, Zuzu who, you want to... Uh-oh. We got a battle. One of you guys. Uh -oh. um, all right. Which one of you is going to get this sphere? Zuzu who? is the one who I see first that put the skew in the price, even though there was a typo. Um, I think it's going to go to Zuzu Who, Porter Brown, Bulldoggies, I apologize. Um, Zuzu Who, can you confirm? Okay, I take that as a confirm. Porter Brown, Doggy, Bulldoggies, I per... Uh, First person to put correct. <laughs> Neither one of them have technically done correct. <laughs> Anyways, um, 
It's okay. Porter Brown Bulldoggies, I have something else that I could show you in direct messages after the show. I have a lot of really awesome things. Nicole, this is Zuzu Who confirmed. Thank you very much. We are very grateful for both of you. And I'm sorry that you both can't have that sphere, but it's okay. We do have other things we can show you. It's just not, it's not going to be during this show. So DM me and I will definitely show you other stuff. All right, so you got to check this out. I'm putting my phone here because I need this backlighting. Uh, let me see if I can do this right. So these, oh, you know what, I should turn this off. This is a crazy, crazy thing. Uh, let me see if I can get the star to show. There's too much light here. All right, so let me turn this off for a second. So this is uh, something called blue needle quartz, which is a Tyndall effect. It's a very strange quartz phenomenon that is not really an inclusion, but is sort of an optical property. Here, maybe I should start with this one. This one I know shows, but maybe this one shows it better. Uh, maybe I should do it like this. There we go. All right, so let me go back to this. I'll hold it here. So uh, the Tyndall effect in blue needles is really a cool thing. And this, when cut into a star, it produces an asterism of blue needles, which is not very common. I've only seen it once, and they come from Madagascar, and I promise you that it's easier to see. Oh, wait, here, let me back up. Back up. This is, like, really a trick. What's up? Um, I don't know. Uh, probably not. They're easy to get uh, messages to them. Anyways, this is not very easy to show. <laughs> <laughs> I can assure you that there is a, you can see the asterism in there. It's like a six pointed star. And sometimes when you turn it, it's a 12 pointed star. These are actually really weird and abnormal and they're not very common. And for quartz inclusion people, this is like a, whoa. Um, I personally don't think I'm catching the whoa very well on the camera right now. Uh, I do believe that it's better in person than it is right now on this camera in the way that it's showing. But you can kind of see it. You can see the asterism. It actually goes all the way across the crystal. It's not just like right by the light. Anyways, I've got three of these. And I'll, I have more, but I have three of them prepared. And this one is $100. And there's one other one at 100 and there's one at 120 that's a little bigger. And let me see if I can do it like that. Anyways, if that's something that you're interested in, that is 848. And that'll be there. Hey, stop it. No rolling. Not tonight. Okay, let's try this one. This is the other one that I showed you. And when you turn it, the asterism comes up in there. You can see it. This is, I promise you, this is not normal. This is abnormal. And I also promise you that it's easier to see in person than it is through my phone, but I'm doing my best. Uh, anyways, you get the point. I'm not going to spend too much time. What was that? Not too much time on it. Um, I was playing with this one earlier. Are you looking for the star? Yeah, there's a star. So this is, this is called Contraluz. Yeah, you can sort of see it there. I've got my finger partly in the way, and you can see, yeah, so there you go. So this is a contraluz effect, which means the light is behind it. And off to the side there. There we go. It's a little better. Ninja Hayden, I hear you. So, all right, so there, I think I got it right there. That perfect star there. And it's not the easiest thing for me to catch. I think it's easier... When I get it off to the side a little bit, so let me do that. Um, so this one's 120, this is 849 is the skew. And it is not a typical quartz star that you get from the top. This is a blue needle Tyndall effect star. Um, I actually showed one of these to someone who works with the GIA people and she knew what it was and she was like, those are amazing. We've studied those and 
that these people are, it's hard to show them something they've never seen, but I have, I do show them stuff that they want to see that they haven't seen every so often. Um, I have a tremendous amount of field knowledge and I'm always finding weird stuff. I wish I had it in hand, but soon you should see what I bought for my collection today. It was really neat. It was a sphere about this size and it had a pyramid in the bottom and on top it had this like, it was a chlorite or chlorite pyramid with the lines on it and then on the top it had this negative crystal that encapsulated the, the chlorite. It was just super cool. I'll show it to you one day, but it's not here yet. I just bought it. And just for giggles, here's the... Here's the last one. This one is 100. So I've got two at 100 and one at 120. And I promise you there's a star in there. It's not easy to find. Anyways, you get the point. If you want me to show you those again, I will show you those again. No rolling. No. Okay. So I have a lot of Super 7 type stuff to show you tonight. Uh, there's just a wide array of really cool stuff that comes inside of quartz and an amethyst. Um, this one, yeah, King Joseph, that's great. Lo gra glad that you like your Suja light parcel. That was super. All right, so check this craziness out. The first time I saw this, I was in Hong Kong at the gem show, and I was like, what the f mind blown it's like super seven with a portal amethyst hematite in the center which is like hold up you've got to be joking me that's the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen um so super seven is an amethyst with lots of stuff inside usually a bunch of different types of hematite uh, this goldish stuff is cacoxonite, uh, the black dots is hematite, and then this red in the center is hematite that grows in, it's the core of a crystal. Yeah, this is everything. These things are ridiculous. Like seriously, I, I, when I found these, I was like, I will take them all. And then they, then they were like, oh, they were there. Blah, blah, blah. And they told me the price. I was like, okay, I'll just pick the ones that I want. Um, they're not crazy expensive, but they were not cheap. Um, Super 7 in general is not inexpensive, but it can be amazing. Um, I have some ridiculous crystals that are polished to show you tonight that have so much stuff inside of it. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, Jesus Christ. I can't even say that word enough. Okay, anyways, 851 This is $70. And I have one, two, three, four, five of these to show you tonight. This one is a smaller one. Uh, this one is a nice round. It's about the size of my thumbnail. And let's see if I can show it from behind. It's better to show it from the front. It's got the cacoxonite. Uh, when it has this like thing, this hematite thing in here that's perfect, I call I start I call these portals. You can see it just like goes concentrically into the center. Wow, that's just crazy. So yeah, these are the coolest Super Seven cabochons of all time, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And this one is round. You can see how it grows. Like it started as like a seed and then it kind of got wider as it went up the crystal. And when you slice these, this is the crystals growing this way. And this is the C axis. They're cutting across the C axis, the crystals like this. And you only get a couple of really good, perfect slices with the red in them because it doesn't grow. Like you can see it only grows a little bit on one side and then it grows there. And then the next slice was probably a little bigger. And yeah, so it goes kind of like that. So this one is $38.852. And this one, I think, is probably the nicest one in the group, or at least it's got the biggest. Um, Oralite 23, no, I don't have Oralite 23. This is kind of better, in my opinion. Just kidding. Oralite, no, there's nothing, you know, there's no better. Crystals are awesome. Oralite 23 is awesome. I don't have any of that stuff. I've actually never bought Oralite 23, which is really kind of weird because I've bought most of the quartzes that have come out of the ground in the last 20 years. I've at least bought a little bit of it, but I have not bought that one. Uh, this one's kind of cool. You can see that the the center kind of like started and stopped and did its own thing there and it's kind of like got its own little side portal this is like a wormhole with a wormhole breaking off like a hologram um yeah new diamonds i would call it a super seven portal amethyst hematite 
cab um, like super seven if you didn't have the hematite in the center that's this a more traditional super seven it's got the black dots see look at all those black dots like the hematite uh, this is specular hematite surrounding the red hematite and then we've got cacoxonite flakes and amethyst and little needles in there maybe some rutile uh, super, 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 super. Yeah, they're super crazy. This one is 90 bucks. $90. 853 is that one. And these are so cool. So, so cool. Hopefully, at some point later this year, I'll have some set in jewelry. Uh, a really good friend of mine let me pick through a huge batch of them. They're in, you know, by all means, they, they're not all, I mean, all of mine are select. They all have good amethyst portals in the center. They don't all do this. Uh, I got to pick from a big batch, and I picked all the really, really good ones that I liked, and I was really happy to do that. Uh, so this portal is in the shape of a pentagon, which is super cool. And maybe this could like send some healing to the Pentagon in Washington or something. And super cool, amazing. It's like a shield. It's like Superman, Super Seven Man shield. And the back side, you can see there. And just turn this back on. You what now? Uh, let's see. Unblock 852 Cinnabon. I do see you. Uh, 852 is this one. 852 Cinnabon. I got you for 38. Uh, Kyanite Delight. I have five in total. Get back to get get back over there. Naughty naughty. Um. All right. So I have this is the last one. Uh, that one is 45, 854. Thank you, Cinnabon. Scientist, I see you on block. Uh, we haven't had a lot of shadow banning yet. I don't know if it's because we're a new account, but then again, I don't want to jinx it. Uh, it's always good to say unblock, and I will announce when I see you as much as I can. Um, okay, last one. Those, there's three left, and I've got one more to show you tonight. I will definitely have some later this year set. Kyanite Delight, I see you, 851 for $70. Uh, I did not see your 852, Scientist. Um, I apologize, 852 was claimed in the meantime. So, Nicole, 851, this is Kyanite Delight. Scientists in business and art. I remember doing business with you not too long ago. Um, and this is the last one. This is $42. Let me see if I can show this better. Um, I don't see anybody for 851. Eight, 851. Let me scroll back. Eight, 851 is Kyanite Delight. Okay. Club Pet, I see you on block. Um, this is also penta pentagonal in shape. This one is forty-two dollars, eight fifty-five, and that is it for the Portal Super Sevens for tonight. Uh, unblock claim forty-two. Uh, scientist, I've got you down. I'm assuming this is the forty-two. Yes. Yeah, so this is this is for you, scientists in business and art. Eight fifty-five, forty-two dollars. Nicole, so you got that. And there's two left here. I'll show them one more time. This one's my favorite. It's um, just mainly because it's biggest. Scientist, eight fifty-five. Uh, we got you on that one. Got you on eight fifty-five. And so. Yeah, so 853 is 90. Yes, thank you for the Ahoite purchase, Club Pet by Margie. We love you. We are appreciating you. And we love to spread Ahoite around the world. And we're not going to show any Ahoite tonight. This is the first live show that I've done where we're not going to show any. Um, but I do have a lot of Ahoite, um, mostly small crystals without a lot of color. But that's just kind of how it goes these days. Um, all right. 
The Light Goddess, this that I'm showing is Portal Amethyst Super 7 with hematite portals in the center. It's got cococcinite and rutile and specular hematite and regular hematite in a pentagon in the center. And it's super crazy good, amazing, wild, wow, blow your mind cabochons from Brazil. And I've got two left, 845, or sorry, 854 is $45, 853 is $90, and these are stellar. Interstellar, you can go travel into outer space with these things. Okay, we're going to move on to some blue. Um, if you guys need to see anything again, please let me know. We got some rainbows back there. We got some spheres that are being naughty and trying to roll across the table. And we're going to do some gem silica now. Yay! Gem silica is a copper silicate. Copper silicate is my favorite type of stone. It's my favorite category of stone. This just lights me up. The color is like the ocean. It opens the heart. It blows your mind open. It blows your heart open. And this stuff is just crazy. Uh, well, there's a J. Don't it looks let, like a J. Don't let my wife see it. <laughs> Raymine. Yes, this is Raymine. This, this is from 2014. Uh, I have a very, I told this before, I have a really good story in 2014 in Tucson at the end of the show. A buddy of mine who works at the Raymine called me up and he said, meet me at the Safeway on Oracle and Ina and bring all the cash that you have. <laughs> and I was like, uh-oh, this is trouble. And I went there and in the parking lot, it was like eight o'clock at night or no, I guess it wouldn't be eight because in the, the Tucson in the winter, the sun goes down. So like, I don't know, it was like five o'clock, the sun was going down. We didn't have a lot of light. And he was showing me all this gem silica and was just like, here, you should buy this. And I had never really bought a bunch of rough before. This one's 60 bucks. This is Druzy. This is super crazy cool. Uh, Ahoite, we will not be showing tonight. Scientist in business and art, uh, we have shown Ahoite a bunch of nights in a row, a bunch of shows in a row. Tonight, we're not going to show any Ahoite. Um, but I have plenty of Ahoite that I can show you after the show or tomorrow. Uh, so back to my story in the parking lot and the Safeway, I was looking at a bunch of blue rocks and I was like, oh my God, I don't know anything about this and I have to get on a plane tomorrow and I'm not supposed to spend any more money and what do you want for it? And he was like, 15,000. I was like, fuck, <laughs> sorry, uh, 15,000. I was like, that's like most of the cash that I'm bringing home from the show. And he's like, well, take it or leave it. And like, it was a lot of material. I didn't, I had never bought it before. I didn't really know. I was like, ah, that looks like there's enough material. I couldn't really see very well. It was just a mess. And I got home and started cutting it open. And I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. This is the most unbelievable stuff ever. The Raymine for 2014 is every, every find that they have is different, but that was a really special find. It was really dark. Uh, lots of druzy pockets like this. This one is a complete Druzy pocket, and it's got the fortification going all the way around it. Uh, let me get it in focus here and see if I can show it to you like I can see it with my eyes. And yeah, it's just ridiculous. This stuff blows my mind. It's one of my favorite copper silicates, probably second to Ahoite. Gem silica is where it's at, peeps. Mm -hmm. This is Chrysocola, not Shadokite. Shadokite is a darker blue. This is Chrysocola in quartz. This one is $150. I had it at $225 in Japan a couple years ago, and I ripped the sticker off and lowered it about an hour ago. There's a little bit of malachite in here, and you got the Druzy pocket on the fortification on both sides. Kind of looks like that looks like a whale. Looks like a whale. You see a whale? Okay. Anyways, so there's that one. I've got five gem silicas to show you tonight. I have a lot more, but they're all really different, and I'm trying to do a really diverse and different show tonight. So the next one is this one, and this is a mega jersey. This is just like sparkles. I'm going to take that little piece off there. That piece needed to come off. It was saying, trim me. All right, so this is almost a heart. If it was a heart, I'd have to fight my wife and be like, no, you can't have it. I forgot to price this one. It's Fortunately, it's priced from before, but it doesn't have a price on this, on this thing. Uh, so this is 858 This one is 100 
and super sparkle yummy crystal cola yummy uh this is tannerite this black layer in here it's almost the heart back off <laughs> all right so that one is super cool uh, it's about that big and it's 100 bucks and that is 858 and gem silica is some of my favorite of all time two more to go this one is not from the 2014 find this is a different pot this is a 2018 find from i also think it's raymine uh it doesn't have the black tannerite it's got this gray color it's got a nice druzy pocket here this is a this is cabochon it's got some uh, malachite in there you can see the back and this one's super cool as well we'll make a nice piece of jewelry it's like a tooth and that one if i can hold it up right it's 50 bucks 8.59 is the skew and that's gem silica number four gem silica all right last one definitely gonna have to get this one back lit so this is a bunch of malachite and gem. This is gem silica. It's chrysocolla and quartz from the Ray Mine. This one I think is from Inspiration Mine. That's from Arizona. So check this out. That is Sagination. Sagination? You mean like Sagittarius? No, it's Saginite. Saginite is a mineral and it does this thing and the malachite and the chrysocolla totally fills the saginite needling and it is super 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 this is a larger cab like an inch and a half and this is just fantastic excellent material really well polished it's got a little uh, maybe planchiate or something there. All the blue around the edge is chrysocolla. That's some jammy, jammy material. And that's just a killer piece. Let me show you the back side. Look at that. Let me show you this side. And that one is $130. Eight sixty is the skew. And we're not holding back tonight, bringing out the big guns, sort of, a bunch of different stuff. So we got gem silica, we got rainbow crystals, uh, for those of you that are just joining us, this is rainbows inside of quartz, and that's really cool, these are really affordable, that one's 48, this one's 35. And it's got like really good banded rainbows in there. If I can get it to hit the light right. There you go. All right. So moving along. Um, all right. The next five things that I'm going to show you are very, well, four things are very special. And the reason that they're special is that they were cut by a partner of mine in South Africa and these belong to him and all of the proceeds if you were to buy one of these tonight is going to go to their uh, helping them in south africa there's a lot of people that are really suffering right now in south africa because there's chaos and there's like civil war and there's all this fear about what's going to happen tomorrow and the zulus are going nuts and looting everything and destroying the whole country and they are destroying the infrastructure and the food supply and all this crazy stuff. Um, so if one of these gets purchased, this will be going directly to my buddy Sheldon. And Sheldon could definitely use the support and the help. He cut these himself. Uh, this is cut with a, a shoot, what's it called? Um, Fudge. I can't remember what it's called. It's a special type of faceting machine. Uh, crap, what's it called? Uh, it's not, it's, 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 they, they call it fantasy cutting, but there's a machine, uh, I can't remember what it's called. But it's a special type of faceting machine, and he's doing some carving on and stuff and whatnot. So, by all means, 
It's not inexpensive, but you will be helping a very, very good cause for people that are really in need. Uh, the back looks like this. Uh, it's got some bubbles in there. This one is marked at 330. Could probably take a little bit less. Um, and like I said, you'd be really helping out a good brother. Uh, he's only got one leg. And he's already been through a lot of hardship because of that. But we've traveled all over the world. I took him to Hong Kong. We went to Namibia. And we just go all over the place despite him only having one leg. Um, he's quite a rock hound and quite a trooper. And purchasing one of these will be helping him and those, of the, those around him. Uh, to feed themselves and stay safe and hopefully they can stay out of Dodge. Um, sending lots of prayers their way tomorrow. Uh, there's a lot of talk about there being a pretty significant uprising there. So let's hope they don't fall into civil war in South Africa because I do a lot of business there and there's lots of great people there and there's lots of really bad oppression going on. And hopefully we can see some shift uh, this is an amethyst. This is also a fantasy cut type stone. I uh, could probably do a little bit better on the pricing on these. Uh, I'm really just trying to help out my friend. So if you are inclined to help, uh, these are things that he cut. And we got two more of these to show you. This is a watermelon tourmaline from, I'm assuming, Namibia, most likely and pink and green at the bottom this is freeform carved it's got some little dips in there and this one is 150 also cut by my buddy sheldon so anything that you purchase in these four is going to be going to him for helping the cause in the south african chaos and the last one is an aquamarine. And this one's really cool. It's got some like sacred geometry type patterns going on in here. Um, let's see if I can get it. Claimed, watermelon tourmaline 150, Deadly Beauties. Thank you so much, Deadly Beauties 94. We've got your claim for 150. I'm very grateful to you and I will be sure to pass that on. Uh, with your name or your username to make sure that there is um, credit given. Thank you so much for your assistance and help. Um, this is the back side of this piece. It's kind of like a sun. Uh, this is an aquamarine. Thank you, Deadly Beauties. We appreciate you. And this one is 150, uh, 864. And let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. And stay in focus. Come on, focus. All right, so there you can see that one. It's got some facets there. Sheldon's a really good faceter, and he has lots of talents. And uh, Sheldon goes to Zambia, and we do a lot of work together in Zambia. And for a guy that doesn't have a leg, he sure does get around pretty good. He's not fearful and not he not holding himself back. Uh, we met eight years ago and I sort of introduced him to the idea of like, hey, this is how you source rocks and this is what you can do with them. And he was already into rocks, but we started partnering on stuff and we got lots of sujolite together and we did some traveling together and, and did, show, did a show in Hong Kong and brought him to Tucson a couple of times. And yeah, it's good stuff. And so this is an aquamarine. It's 150 and that will be going directly to help the situation in South Africa. Those are the four that I have to show you of those. So, quick recap. I'll go through this really quickly. I have a lot to show you tonight. Already an hour in. And so this is a rainbow quartz for 48. And this is... 35 and I promise you that the rainbows are nicer than what I can yeah I just need to take the time to show you but this is like a full-on 
This thing's full of rainbows. You'll have tons of fun playing with these when you get them. I don't even really have the time to show them every single angle here because you, you know you got to get it at this angle. You got to get it at this angle to get all this rainbows to come out. And super super awesome stuff. All right, so let's do those. We got four rainbow crystals. That one's really neat. It's got a nice banding. If I can get it, there we go. That one's 40 bucks. And then we've got this for $85. This is a phantom over top of some pyrite. And that's really a nice piece. Super, super cool. It's not very common to find the phantom and the um, pyrite. Then we got these spheres. I showed them. I'm not going to show them again. These are Contralu's uh, Tyndall effect star asterism spheres. When you get light behind, it's got to be directly behind, and you get a star. And I'm not. I don't have enough patience right now to show those again. <laughs> All right, and let's see. So we got two of these left. This is the best one, in my opinion. This is the Portal Super 7 Amethyst with Hematite. $40 Rainbow Claim, Sam Bryan Jr. Uh, $40 this one. Sam, I really like that one. I got you on that. Start you a pile, Sam Bryan. And the next, uh, this is the other Portal Amethyst that I have left. That one's 45. I do have some different type of portal amethyst with uh, hematite, but it's a little different than this. I'll be showing that uh, a little bit later. Okay, back to the recap here. We got some Druzy Gem Silica from the Raymine 2014. This one is a J. Super cool, nice and sparkly. Sparkly! And then we got this one, which is my favorite. This is a complete Druzy pocket. And this is a cabochon. It could be set in jewelry. 856 claim. Sam, I've got you. Thank you very much. Glad to see that your comments are coming through. And I'll show you the rest of this real quick. This is the backside. It's got some fortification. It's got a banding all the way around so it can be set into a piece of jewelry. And it is a cabochon. It's been polished on the face and on the back. And this one is a hundred dollars and the price is on the back and this is Druzy Chrysocola and it's got like a nice little ball there and this one is another cabochon this is from Raymine 2018 and that's got some Druzy there and some malachite and some lighter brown material 859 is 50 bucks and last but not least on the gem silica uh, we've got this sagination going on here this is also from raymine this came in the 1990s i want to say 1990s i think maybe early 2000s this was before i started buying this material but i know it's not recent and it's super neat and if i can get it up really close look at that Anyways, that one's 150. Oh, sorry, 130. And really quickly, I showed these and talked for a while. Uh, I do not have any jade to show you tonight. Um, I don't have a lot of jade in general. Uh, I don't think I. Probably, yeah, this one was 330. I could probably do this one for like 280. This is to help out my friend in South Africa, and he carved that in free form and this one amethyst we can probably do this one for 170 also to help a great cause and this aquamarine we can do this for 130. it has uh, concave faceting on the back concave faceting that's the word i was looking for it's a special machine that one 130. all right Gonna move this off to the side and these feet, naughty, naughty, these fears, no, no moving. 
Watch, they're definitely gonna come rolling right at me, I promise. Nope, nope. Oh, yeah, can you slide that one off? And, okie dokie. Now we are going to show you something else very, very blue. More, more blue. Blue and purple is the name of the game. Oh, you're so good. Not rolling. Okay. So this is a frog that is cut out of probably the best lapis you can find. There might be a grade or two above this, but this is really, really good. Like super solid blue lapis, really bright material. Um, I bought the piece of rough out of a collection and I sent this off to Thailand and had it carved in a carving facility that lots of people are using. Some people say, oh, this is the Ronald Stevens facility, and it's not Ronald Stevens, but it's the same facility. And this is awesome, awesome little frog. It's got the, it's sitting on the leaf. It's about that big. And this one is 190. And it's pretty much what I have in it. I bet you I've got 50, 40 or $50 in the piece of rough, and the carving costs about 130 bucks. So pretty much selling that at cost. And I don't really know why, but prices are what they are. Sometimes they just come to me and say, that's what you're going to price it. And I was like, okay, that's what I'm going to price it. And that's the only carving I have. And now I'm going to show some azurites from Mexico. I've got four. Uh, this is from the Milpias mine. And this is right over the border from Tucson, about an hour. And this is a very famous azurite deposit that is now a closed mine. Sam Bryan, 45 claims Super 7. I got you on that. That would be this one here. You don't see the comment, Nicole? Mm -hmm. well, Nicole's not seeing the comment, but I sure did. So we got you on that. Thank you very much. So we got Azurite. This one is 300. Uh, a lot of stuff that I put together tonight is some of the stuff is in the you know, couple hundred dollar range. Uh, it's just sort of what I grabbed tonight. This is another azurite from Milpias. This has got some matrix here. It's got a really nice, well-defined crystal here in the front. It's got another little crystal here on the side. It's got a little bit more crystals on the back. And let's see if I can get a better view. There we go. It's got some nice crystal, crystal, crystals. Crystals! Oh yeah, azurite is an amazing dream stone, it is a third eye stone, it is a very popular metaphysical stone, it's been really popular for a very long time, uh, they used azurite way back in the Egyptian days, you know, back when there were pharaohs and shit. Um, here's another one, this one's 260, this is a group of crystals like, stacked together, one, two, three... Melt your eyes when backlit. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe this one has some some translucency, a little bit. You can see it on the edges. Um, the translucent azurite is not nearly as common. It definitely exists, of course. Um, yeah, the edges glow on that one. Uh, it's definitely not very common. This particular mine had a pocket called the gem pocket. It produced completely facet grade material that is very rare for azurite. And it was a very small find. That was like a year and a half ago. That one's 260. And the last azurite that I have to show you is another conglomerate group here. It's got some nice crystal faces. Good luster. This one's 350. This is from the Milpias mine in Sonora, Mexico. And it is now a closed mine. It might be the most prolific azurite mine in terms of quantity ever. Of course, we could argue that Sumeb, but uh, I don't really know what I produced more, but this Milpias definitely produced a lot. All right, there we have it for the azurite. And. Next up, well, let's see, what do I do? Um, I guess I could start in the middle. Well, let me see here. Oh, there's just amethyst everywhere. Um, 
Did it close for another reason? I don't know exactly why it closed. I'm sure that there's more in the ground. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces of stibnite to show you. Uh, these are from China. Uh, these are from 2006, I believe. Um, not that that matters, but sometimes it does. But that's just when I acquired these, 2006. So this is a nice long crystal stibnite is antimony sulfate you don't want to eat it you don't want to snort it you can totally meditate with it you need to wash your hands afterwards it's usually a good idea um, it is toxic if you ingest it but it has a lot of really valuable metaphysical properties as well uh, this is 50 dollars uh, as far as the azurite mined out i'm not really sure why they closed the mine um, I imagine that there's still material there, but they closed it for some reason. This one is uh, another thick one here. You can see the termination. The other one had a termination. This is a nice wand here, really good for altars and grids and metaphysical use. This one is eight thirteen. It is $50. I'm going to run through these really quickly. And I do have a lot to show you tonight. I'm one hour in. I don't know if we're going to get through it all. Here's another one, and this one is also 50. These are really good sizes. Look, this is like four inches, terminated crystal. And this is a thinner one, about four inches. That one's 30. It's got a nice termination there. And this one here is a little bit thicker and that one is 30 on that one and here's another one for 30 this one's got a curve on it and it's terminated and it's got a curve on it curvy stib night curvy stib night all right, moving right along. Here's another one. It's got a little sidecar on the bottom. And that one is $30. And we got four more to show you. This one is 25 And it's a, it's a nice long one. Termination's a little bonkered on the top, but it's still good for medicine if... You use it for metaphysics. And here's another one. It's termination there. That one is 25, 820. And two more of these, and I will move on. Curved 30, please, for T and me forever. Awesome, I got you there. Thank you. T and me forever. Super, thank you very much. Very grateful for you. And here's another one, this one's 50, this one's kind of wavy. And it's got a couple terminations there, a little sidecar, 823, good number. All right, one more. This is the last, last stib night of the night. And let's see, it goes like this. This is a crossing over crystal. It's terminated here. And looks like cacti. Cactus. That one's 4824. That is all of the stib night that I have to show you tonight. I do have some larger singles that I did not prepare, but if you want something in the direct messages, you know where to find me. So I'm not going to recap those. Um, I'll recap the just really quickly the Azurites. The Stib Knights are all there. The prices are 25, 30, 40, and 50 on the Stib Knights. 820 Sam. Um, all right, that's this one. I got you. 820 is $25. Thank you very much. Uh, let me have that wipey. Great. Um, oh, you 
Okay, cool. So really quick, let's go over the Azurites again. I'm going to try to hustle because I have a lot more Super 70 type stuff to show you that is just ridiculous. And tonight's all about portals and Super 7s and lots of purple, purple portals. All right, this one's going off to the side. Straggler. Oh, two more Stib Knights, but these are different. This is Stib Knighted Quartz. Flork, I see you on Blocked. All right, check it out. So this was in my Stib Knight group. This is Stib Knight inside of Crystal. Oh my gumma 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 gumma. I'm all for it. I need a portal. I have some portals for you that are a different type. Um, they're really cool. I'll show you this next. So this is Stib Knight in Quartz. This is not very common. The majority of what they find is not terminated and it gets cut into beads. This is from the same deposit in China. And this is super, super cool. I only have two of these. This one is about two and a half inches, maybe three inches. This one is $90, 822. Very special inclusion in quartz. Definitely not very common. And the other one is a little bit bigger. Um, borderline Lemurian style crystal. It's got Stib Knight in the center. And let me show you there. It does have the lines here. Questionable whether or not it's a Lemurian type. And the Stib Knight in the center there is super cool. It's very metallic. Uh, it does have a little little bit of blemish there, but um, I saved it from being cut. This one is 120. Not a very common thing to find in quartz. Uh, I do have some from Nepal as well. I'm not showing those tonight. Okay, Super 7s. I got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Super 7s that are not portals. These are different. Another type of Super 7. So check that out. It's like YMCA. <laughs> super, super cool. Thank you, New Diamonds. Appreciate you. Uh, all right. So talk about red hematite needles and amethyst. Like, hello. Yeah, buddy. Um, everything that we're about to show you is just ridiculous. This is so cool. This is like Amethyst Mountains. Uh, this is a small piece, but packs a big punch. This is $90, $825. And yeah, it almost looks like wings with like, look at all the, yeah, look at the hematite under there. That's just crazy. Super, super neat stuff. And the next one is this. Flork, I did not get your claim. Please repeat your claim. And we will get you your item. Um, so go ahead and let me know what that was, because I didn't get it. You can spell it out, too, if you want, like the number or whatever, or use emojis. That sometimes helps. So this is a Trapiche Amethyst Super 7. And the reason a uh, trapiche is when you have a six-pointed star or a six six uh, star. Yeah, I guess you can call it that. So it's got one there, one there, and one there. And you can see the group of hematite. This is, uh, I you could call it trapiche-like. Technically not a trapiche, but at the same time, yeah, trapiche isn't really a technical term, but it's definitely... Uh, the thick, the lick silver one, thick silver one. You're talking about the quartz crystal, or the stib knight without quartz. This one. Let me know, Flork, and I will try to help you with that. Um, I don't know if he's talking about Stib Knight or Stib Knight in Quartz. Uh, if you say Stib, you know, in Quartz or not, I'll try to help you get that one. Anyways, this is 160. This is a Trapiche. This is not very common to have the six, the sixling pattern right there. Um, that is super, super cool. It's about that big. I'm gonna put that there. 
Florc, I'm waiting for you to describe or to tell me Stibnite and Quartz or one of those babies over there. Um, not in a hurry. So whenever you can get me that, I will show it to you and we will get it set aside for you. All right, the next Super 7. This is also could be considered Trapiche-like. It's got one, two, three. It's got this six, six ling in here. And you can see the opposite patterning of the amethyst zoning. This is ridiculous. This is, the needles are red. Um, if I backlight it, you'll see it. There's the color. This is just really, really cool. And if you flip it over, it's kind of like, why am I Oh, my head split open. It's like a dude with his head split open because his quality is just so good. And this one is 275. <laughs> and this is the head splitter. Like, oh my God, my head split open because the quality is so good, man. Dude, what'd you put in that rock, man? So now we got a couple from uh, those two for those first three are from Madagascar. The next three are from Zambia. They're less expensive. Uh, this is material that Sheldon seemed to want to get. Uh, seems like only one of three of my messages goes through. All the silver ones end in 16. Ends in 16 for $30. The silver ones. 16. Gotcha. All right. Sorry about that, Flork. So, uh, this is the one. Sorry about your comments. This is 816. I got you down for that. Please confirm, Flork. I'm pretty sure that's the one you wanted. 816, $30. Got you on that one. And I'll just leave it there. Davis writing me on messenger man that's hard bro you're lucky I'm looking at this thing uh, oh you grabbed the super seven gotcha hey, gotcha 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 okay I recognize you now hope you're still here Brian thanks for being here cool Flark I got you on that um, all right anyways this one is $45 let me zoom back in this one is from Zambia this one has got all kinds of needles and amethyst and rutile and black tourmaline and probably hematite and who the heck knows what else is in there this one has a place where another crystal is attached or something like that and that one's pretty cool that one is 45 bucks that one was cut by my friend sheldon in africa as well as acquired in africa in zambia on an excursion that we that he took about four years ago something like that claim daniel 45 daniel i got you thank you my friend good to see you again and i got two more two more of these to show the zambian zambian sevens or whatever you want to call them uh, get this here so this is got lots of needles and amethyst and yeah so that one's pretty straightforward it's got a lot going on it's really nice it's a bigger piece than the other one this is like two fingers this one is 60 bucks 829 and the last one of the three is this one and this one is just loaded it's super loaded look at all this stuff going on in here man look at all the brown needles they're just like <sighs> everywhere every which direction and it's like all mixed up with amethyst like this stuff is just loaded super super cool and yeah backlighting is just like way better that's just killer super 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 and then there's the front lit one and that one is 70 bucks 830 is the skew and again backlight 87 830 backlight super super seven 
Okay, now new diamonds. I'm going to show you some portals. Uh, these are the tech. That's that's a, it's it's a very technical term that I made up myself. Uh, oh no, I got one crystal here. Then we get to the portals. This is from Madagascar. This is very similar to the other ones. Check this out. So this is the crystal. This is the termination. It's been polished. Or this is the direction of the termination. And then this is a. Basically a scepter, I mean the scepter would come down, but this is like the first growth, it was surrounded by little hematite platelets, you can see the light shining off of that, you see that uh, sparkly in there, and it's literally like a phantom of just specular hematite inside the crystal, it's almost like a negative crystal. And then it's got amethyst phantoms and smoky phantoms, this is definitely art, and let me show you backlit. And this is a, such a killer piece. This one is like three fingers in size. I marked this one down. I had this one at 300. This one's 240. I sold one just like it in, the, in Japan a couple years ago. Like as soon as the door opened at the show, somebody walked right in and they bought it. And it was like 350. Very similar. It was like almost the same thing. So killer, huh? What a crazy piece. Quartz junkies, mind blown. This is how I feel right now. See this? This is how I feel. Head exploded into two pieces. Yep. <laughs> this is from Madagascar. And again, that's 240, 831. All right, now moving on to the portals. These are super different and super special. I probably shouldn't start with that one because it'll blow your mind too fast. Um, these are from India from 1980 something, 83, 85, something like that. They came one time. They never came again. This is from Hyderabad. It is not from South India, which is normally where the amethyst comes from. This is from Hyderabad, 1980. Can I recap those for a screenshot? Uh... Yeah, let me do that real quick for you for Mentor Mentor. Um, start with this one. This is the little guy. This is the YMCA. Yeah, let me zoom in. Screenshot. Do, do, do. It's a little guy. And then we've got this one, which is Trapiche. Trapiche like for 160. It's got the, st um, the six, -pointed, six pointed star with the red needles and sorry about the price there can you do a two what is that can you do a two vid i don't understand um this one is the mind blower head split in two and we'll do this real quick this is from zambia 160 for mentor mentor i didn't understand your question so i'm just going to keep going top down. top down oh like just put the camera over it so you can do them all yeah i can probably do that does that is that sufficient i know you can't really see the inclusions very well um, let's see here all right Maybe that helps. Go ahead and get your screenshot. Here. Uh, can I do that? I'm afraid to screenshot because I might turn the camera off. <laughs> I tried that before and Instagram's like, no, you cannot do that. <laughs> All right. Hope you got that. All right. On to the portals. I need to zoom back in. <laughs> Sound effects provided by me. I'm in uh, quite a mood tonight. All right, so this is from India, from Hyderabad, and there's a really dark amethyst, and it's got the red <clears throat> hematites, which is the portals, and this is uh, lots of hematite going on in there, and I'm not really funny. I just play it on TV. Um, all right, sweet. Oh, Erica's here. What's up, Erica? <laughs> you want to do customer service? <laughs> just kidding. Erica does our customer service for us during the week. All right, portal amethyst. Check this out. Strong lighting really helps, but notice how it's got this portal going on. Where it's like 
All right, you're going into another dimension. Let me see, does this even backlight very well? I, it's This one's really thick, so it doesn't backlight very well, but this is like a true portal. Um, there's like the backside where you go through the wormhole. Like, whoa, dude, I'm in another dimension. We got that. Um, Hyderabad, India, 1980s. Extinct material. Most people have never even seen it before. Even like it's only a couple of old timers really know about this material. Um, there's not any on the market except for what has come from me. As far as I know, there was a lot of people saying it was from Tibet for a while, but I tracked it back to Hyderabad. I got this out of a collection from a man that was a really high-end rough dealer, and he moved to Japan, and I bought his whole dealer stock and collection a couple of years ago. Um, and this stuff was really hard to see, and I cut all the crystals, and the crystals were like, you couldn't see in them, and you had to slice them across the C-axis. And I look at this zoning. It's just crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This is all amethyst. Uh, super crazy zoning. And this red hematite. The portal's in the center. And that one is like that. That one's kind of thin. The thinner it is, the more light goes through it. This one is 90. And I have sold really good ones of these up to 500. And I have some really, really high-end ones. Um, I didn't take out the most expensive ones tonight, but I do have some good ones. This one right here, I believe, is my favorite one that I have to show you tonight. Uh, this one is, like, seriously, like, WTF. Like, what? Are you kidding me? Like, this is, like... <laughs> It's like Star Trek to the max, bro. Like step through the portal. No, but seriously, um, this is ridiculous. Like, you gotta be kidding me. It's basically red chevrons in amethyst. And look, there's a little wormhole right there. It's like you step into there, you go totally into another dimension. But I have to stay here in this dimension for now so that I can sell you these rocks. This one's 150. This one is probably my favorite of the evening, um, but they're all special in their own way. Okay, the next one is another uh, rounded cabochon. This one is like super thick. You can see some red lines on the back and super, super dark, but it's got these awesome chevron lines. This is like do do do. It's almost like a gladiator helmet. You know, there's like eyes here. It's like gladiator helmet kind of deal. Yeah, I, I see stuff in rocks. What can I say? Oh, see, it's even got like the ear plate. This is like it's protecting his ear, and this is like over his eyes. This is totally a gladiator cabochon. Mm -hmm. This one is eight thirty six ninety bucks. These are from Hyderabad, India. Hyderabad, India. Oh my goodness. This is very best quality amethyst you have ever seen. You will never see anything like it again from anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. I promise you, this is the only place. Yep, purple cloud. That one is like purple cloud. Totally. Very, very best amethyst. Perfect for your collection and for your meditation. It is very, very much good. I will give you best price, my friend. Ooh, look at this. This has got a yellow portal. That's pretty cool. So like yellow and red and lots of purple. And this is a big piece. That's the biggest one in the lot tonight. And super cool. This one is 110. 837. 837. And I have three more to show you. Only three. And then we'll move on. We have many, many more things to show you tonight. Okay, check this one out. This is like, I don't even know how to describe this. This is like a what? This is like, it's kind of like a flower. I don't even know. It speaks for itself. It's This, this is one of the more abnormal ones. 
It sounds like you're faking American accent. What are you talking, my friend? I am from India. I am not actually from America. I have been in India many, many lifetimes. Next time I will play the tabla for you. I play tabla very good. <laughs> what happened to my light? That just went out. What the heck? Oh, shit. Oh, my lights just burned out. You want to check the plug? That's weird. Thankfully, we've got three. <laughs> Definitely not cool, though. Anyways. Oh, my gosh. There's so many cords. This one's super cool. Um, maybe I shouldn't talk like that anymore. My light was like, no, 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 naughty, naughty. You cannot talk like this. <laughs> You've been eating too much curry. Yeah, I like curry. I definitely have been in India in, in this lifetime, and I have definitely spent many other lifetimes in India. We've studied yoga and yeah. tablas. It's on. It just went on. Ta da! Magic! You have the magic touch. Wifey with the magic touch. Okay, this one's 80 bucks. I don't even know how to describe it. You can describe it. It's super cool. It's the super cool one. That's like the most generic way I could put it tonight. All right, two more. These are a little bit different. Uh, a little bit, this one's a little bit less expensive. This one has got the portal here and the portal there. And it's got really good zoning. You can see how it's like darker in some places and less dark in others. And that one is sixty dollars. Not rupees. Not rupees. And there we go. Last but not least, this one is uh, another cabochon, but it's not a thick one. This is a thin slice cabochon. And it's got like mountains going on there. Whoa! Check that out. That's super cool. I didn't notice that before. It's like, whoosh, whoosh. yeah. So that's a kite. I guess it could go this way, or it could go this way, or it could go this way, or it could go this way. It is a pyramid. One, two, three, four, five. Too many. I cannot count. Anyways, ninety dollars. 840 that is the last of the portal amethysts that i have to show you tonight and if you want to get a screenshot i've got some numbers do, do, do. Um, try to give you there there all right Definitely need a backlight and a good front light so you can see these things, but that is what's going on there. Let me see. I already ran through those again. You guys are really excited about this, so we'll do a quick recap. And this has got the hematite scepter crystal inside for 240 And go back to Amethyst Portals. This one is 60 And this one is... 150. Uh, can you hear the frogs? I got frogs in the, in the yard making a bunch of noise. And that one is 90. And this one is 150. That's like the super mega port, portal to the sixth dimension. And this is the Gladiator helmet kind of deal. And this is the large one. And then we got this guy. And we got this guy. And we got this guy. All right, on your marks, get set. I'm waiting for you.
Let me move some stuff around. Hey, hey, quit moving over there, spheres. Stay put. Naughty, naughty. Bad dog. All right. Okay, goodbye, portal amethyst. That will be over here if you want me to revisit them. Okay, next. Next up. <clears throat> Oh, more Super 7s? Maybe I should wait on those. Let's do... Uh, how about these? So I've got a whole box of quartz on Apophyllite with pink color and still bite. And these are super cool. These are from India from the Zeolite deposit. And get my piece of paper here. Oh yeah, anything if you buy any piece over a hundred bucks, uh, I will throw in a piece of free moldavite for you, a little moldavite chip. So any single piece over a hundred dollars gets one of these, and any order over two hundred, I'll give you one of those. Fermenter Mentor eight thirty five for ninety dollars, and that is this one here. Yes, I've got you for eight thirty-five ninety dollars. Thank you, Chelsea. Much appreciated. Okay, moving along. Can always go back if you guys need to see those. So this is like sparkly, sparkly. This is. Thank you, Chelsea. I got that for you. So this is Apophyllite with a pinkish color. I assume that's formed by hematite. Uh, and then it's got druzy quartz over the whole thing that makes it sparkly. This is kind of like a cast. It's like, I don't know, I wouldn't know if I'd call it a floater, but it's just, this is just like Sparkle City. Sparkles and sparkles. And I have a whole flat of these. I don't know if I'm going to show the whole flat unless you guys really want to see the most expensive ones are 60 bucks and they go down to like 15 and 20 bucks. This one's 50. This is like half the size of my palm. And that's a really nice pink one. Um, and I gotta say, it's way nicer in hand than the camera shows. Like it's more lustrous and it's a better color to my eyes than the camera is showing me. And I think that's the case with a lot of stuff. Um, all right, next up, I've got this guy here. This is sparkly. It's like a glitter bomb, and it's got... Uh, this is Apophyllite with quartz, and this is all of these are stillbite. These are zeolite minerals. Um, they're good for kitty litter, so, you know, if you ever run out, you could just, like, crush this up and throw it in your cat box, and, um, no, don't do that. But that is what zeolite is mainly used for. It's used for lots of things, but kitty litter is one of the primary applications on the industrial level for zeolite. Of course, uh, they don't need to use crystalline zeolite or anything like that. They probably don't even use apophyllite, um, but it is a very absorptive, absorptive mineral, uh, zeolite is also very good for heavy metal detox. Uh, that doesn't mean you should eat your apophyllite, uh, but there is a zeolite called clinoptilolite, which is very, very useful in um, heavy metal detox. And heavy metal detox is absolutely by far one of the most important topics on our planet right now, and people don't really understand that we're all very toxic with heavy metals because of what they're spraying in the skies and because of what they put in our food. And uh, there's this thing called graphene oxide, which is definitely a very serious culprit in a lot of problems that are going on on our planet right now. And a lot of this information is new and it will be coming out and hopefully you're paying attention. So clinoptilolite is a very awesome zeolite. I very highly recommend it. If you're interested in taking it as a supplement, I have a link, uh, which is an affiliate link to a company that uh, produces it in a way that is very natural and it is not synthetic. And I have been taking it for about three or four months and I cannot 
tell you enough that it blows my mind. It, I can't, I, I'm dreaming like I've never dreamt before in my entire life. And I've been taking uh, all kinds of supplements for health purposes since the 90s. And this one is by far the most crazy thing I've ever taken. Every single night I have crazy dreams. And it, it makes me sleep really hard. I'm usually a really light sleeper. Clean up till light. If you want information, please let me know. This one's 15 bucks. It's almost a heart. Shh, don't tell my wife. <laughs> naughty, naughty, don't tell the wifey. She will take it. I have to show you her heart collection. Um, Rhonda, I will give. I'll send you the. Uh, I'll send you the link. I don't really have the capacity to link it right here for the clinoptilolite. Um, but I'll do that even maybe in a Facebook post. So, or Instagram post, Facebook post, whatever. All right, T and me forever. Fifteen for you. That is. 1027 I've got for tea and me forever I need more hearts yeah I've got some really good roto hearts that we displayed the other night I've got lots of them um, you can message me and I'll show you so this is another like half palm size piece it's got lots of still bite super sparkly it's like a glitter factory and like I said it's more sparkly in my hand to my eyes than it is to the camera this one is $40. And this is a Poffalite with sparkly quartz. And here's another one. This is really big. So they're not all really big. I've got three big ones left to show you, including this one. And all the rest of them after that are in the $20 to $30 range. And this is two-sided. It's just like, what? Hold up. Let me see that. What? Yes. Super, 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 super. That one's 40. Um, I think I'm going to show you. Here's a small one. This one's 20. And this stuff is, I mean, if you know anything about Apophyllite, Apophyllite is super high vibe material. It definitely is like angelic in a lot of ways. Um, people love it. On the metaphysical level, it's super popular. Combine it with quartz and sparkly, and of course, you're going to have a win. That one's almost a heart. Look, here, let me, let me make a heart here. There's a heart. <laughs> Almost, yeah. Uh, yeah, this one here. This is South America. This is for Gemini. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it could be for anyone, but I don't know if there's a special relationship with Apophyllite and Geminis or not. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on that one. This one... It's got some nice still bite there. And super sparkly. And it's about that big. And it's $35. And I don't think I'm gonna show the whole flat because I got a lot of other stuff to cover. We still got more blue things to show. Blue. Blue's my favorite. <laughs> Go figure. Blue and purple. I have a very special affinity for the rich blues and purples. And I actually have a bunch of Sujalite pendants and Richterite pendants to show tonight. And there's some Demortierite in quartz pendants. So, look, this is like the Nike swoosh. Like, whoosh, it's got the still bite on the swoosh. And. 20 bucks on that one. Um, any of you guys interested in any of these? I'm probably going to stop, stop showing them unless you want to see more. I have some 18 and 20 and 25 bucks. Yes, TME Forever, we are connected. We are connected. You are reading my mind right before I speak it. And that's a little bit weird. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Um, yeah, so I've got some blue Richterite pendants that are special and fantastic. And unless you guys want to see more of these, that's all I'm going to show. I do have some lots of other small ones. Uh, see, here's the rest of them. Like this. These are in the $18 to $25 range. And if you want to see more of those, I will show them later or you can speak up. Otherwise, I'm going to move on. So, let's see here. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Go on, you Apophyllite. Okay, let's move on to this jewelry since I got all excited about it. Uh, we got mango quartz tonight, too. It's available. Okay. I got a bunch of cherowite jewelry and Richterite and Sujolite and Richterite with Sujolite and Demordiorite. Uh, seven EFE. You want to see one and three. What does that mean exactly? Are you talking about this? One, one oh one, one zero one one. Is that the one you want to see? That one is the pinkest one. That one's fifty bucks. I'm assuming that's the one you want to see until you comment again. And the third one that I showed, which is one zero zero three, <coughs> excuse me, is forty, and that is a half palm size piece with apophyllite. I'm assuming these are the ones that you're talking about and not the ones in the box. And if that is a sufficient look for you, let me know. Otherwise, I will try to help you just to see what you're looking for. Yes, okay. So if you want one of those to claim, you can go ahead and let me know and I'll pull it aside for you. Okay, back on the purple theme. Cherowite is from Siberia. It is a chatoyant mineral and it's super cool. And I'm good friends with the, one of the main suppliers of Cherowite in the world. And he told me a really cool story. I, I was buying really big blocks of Cherowite. I mean like huge blocks. They come in like house sizes. Well, not really, but they come in car sizes. I wasn't buying blocks that big, but I was buying blocks that were literally like the size of this. Like this big by this big and like I mean like 30 kilo blocks like huge huge pieces of top 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 grade and so he was like do you want to come to the mine and I was like well that's pretty cool I don't really know if I have the opportunity to do that right now but um, that's super cool and he was like all right well if you come to the mine you need to lose a bunch of weight and I was like well what are you talking about he said well we fly to the mine in a helicopter and the amount of material that we can bring back with us is limited. So the less you weigh, the more material we can bring back. He said, the more you weigh, the more it costs for you to get to the mine. And I was like, uh, that's crazy. So it's like the helicopter can only take like 2,000 pounds of material back. And of course, they produce tonnage and tonnage and tonnage, but they, let, they drive that across the country. But the super crazy, amazing, top quality material... They fly out with a helicopter and the cost of the trip is how, based on how fat you are. <laughs> um, just kidding. Based on um, how much you weigh, here, I'm trying to be nice. Uh, so he was like, yeah, you know, lose some weight. And this, this guy's shorter than me, but he weighs more than me because he's a big, thick Russian dude. And he was like, you need to weigh very much less. We can drink vodka instead. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't want to do that. Um, his dad actually did um, have a try to have a vodka drinking contest with me. That was back when I used to drink. It was kind of crazy. He would literally just stare at me, like while he was drinking, and he would like we would bottoms up, and he would literally stare at me like for almost like it was like a challenge just with his eyeballs. <laughs> it was like, what the heck? These Russians, man. Russians are amazing people. Anyways, this is ten thirty. It is eighty bucks. It is super nice chair white. It's about that big. It's set in sterling silver, and I have. Mm, like 15 of them that I can show you. I probably won't show them all because there's like 50 pieces of jewelry in this box and there's only five types of stone. So I will show a random selection. 
Here's another big one. It's like an inch and a half, or actually it's like two inches. Uh, this is very good quality. This was cut off of one of those big blocks. Nice and dark color. It's got chatoyance. And this one is $90. And that one is there. And I'm going to some smaller ones. And look at the quality of this. This is just awesome. It's got a little bit of pink up on here on the side. Very good quality Chatoyant Charoite from Siberia. This one, $60. $60. Oh. $60, or you drink all the vodka if you don't buy. Sterling silver, I didn't see that comment. Did you see a comment about no, sterling? No, oh, you're just telling me it's yeah. sterling silver. Cherowite countertops, yeah, that would be sick. You could definitely do that. They produce huge, huge pieces, but that would be really, really expensive, especially for good stuff. I mean, like really top grade Cherowite is a couple hundred dollars a kilo and in large quantity. I mean, we're, you know, it, you, you, you're talking like $50,000 countertops. Um, maybe one day. Anyway, so look at this piece. This is crazy. Um, Alley Cat, I think you hit the enter button too fast, maybe. All I see is aisle. I'm assuming that's going to say, I will take them all. <laughs> Just sell them all and turn the camera off. Oh, thank you so much, Alley Cat. I don't have to do the show anymore. Just kidding. <laughs> Rose Quartz Sink. Yeah, that would be sweet. So this one's 80 bucks. This one is also like two fingers in size. This one is crazy good. Like, just awesome. Awesome patterns. Cherowite. Very, very nice. Here's an inexpensive one. I'll just use the money in my I don't give a duck bank account. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that duck was changed on your phone. Because I know that those stinky phones do that. Where it's just like... That's ducking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I have an I don't give a duck bank account too. It's just like, woo, party. Let's buy all the chair white. <laughs> Do we just all have the same bank account? Yeah, that wouldn't that be sweet? You know, maybe maybe there'll be some like magic that happens in the future and like they'll give everybody a bunch of money. And you guys will all come to my live shows and you'll buy everything. You'll be like, here, I'm buying all of your stuff. And I'll be like, dude, I'll give you the best discount ever. Woo! Because why not? You know, let's have an earth party. Maybe when the oppressors are defeated, we will um, get to celebrate. All right, so this one is about that big. And this one is inexpensive. This one's 30 bucks. That's probably underpriced, but... Yeah, you know, whatever. They can't all be expensive, Rusty. Jeez. You're going to turn them away, man. Sell them some cheap stuff, too. Sorry, I have this alter ego that talks to me in the background. It's just like, dude, come on. All right, so here's another one. This is a small one. Mega Yacht sounds great. Wow. <laughs> where are we going? Yeah, where are we going? Just came back on with this material. This is Cherowite. My friend, it's not Sujolite, but I do have some Sujolite too that's in the same box. I'm getting this is like a super mega purple and blue box, all sterling silver. And so this one is 42. And. All right, sweet. So there's five, six, six Cherowite pendants. I do have more. I'm going to move on to the next stone, <laughs> which is Demortierite. Demortierite. Um, all right. So I don't know if you know about Demortierite, but this is like one of the craziest, most popular quartz inclusions possibly of all time um this is just like crazy little needles and sprays <laughs> and this is there's small jewelry but super nice very good quality uh i selected all of these because the demordiorite was stuck in the middle of the quartz like 
splayed out, whereas usually it like is on the base of the quartz and the, you know, it's just harder for it to be isolated and floating in the center. Um, and these, this one is 95. They're small, but they pack a punch and it's hard to get really, really good quality ones. Um, I had these cut myself. I had these set myself and I have a group of them that I can show you. Uh, let's see here. Let's do this one. This one. Dumortierite. Dumo. Dumo quartz. So we call it. And crazy quality. You know, when I look through the camera. And a lot of these rocks, I get to see it closer than my eyeballs can show me. And so I'm looking at this one, and I'm like, that one's probably should be more than 60 bucks. <laughs> I know, yeah. I priced it without my camera and without the zoom, and, you know, I should probably get glasses. <laughs> All good, though. That one's 60 bucks. Uh, do more to your right. All right, Daniel, 60 bucks for you for 1048 is the skew. Let me just confirm. Sixty dollar, make you holla. Awesome. Um, all right, here's another one. I think this one that was a really good deal, man. Yeah, that should, that probably should have been a hundred bucks, but whatever, it doesn't matter. This is the most expensive one of the night, and this one's just like super fireworks loaded. That last one was pretty loaded too. That was a steal. Um, you can see, look at the spray, like, and it's like. That's like a little sand spur of demordiorite in the top of that crystal there, top of that pendant. And this one is 140. Hare Krishna, Hare Hare Krishna. Hi, how's it going? Uh, this one is 140, 1049 is the skew. And let's show another one here. Let me see. Uh, there's not that many of these. All right, this one is another one that is, this is an inexpensive one, and it is water clear jammy quartz. I marked this, I marked this one at 60 bucks. And Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Uh, I like your name, Hare Krishna Gems. And yep, so that one is $60 also. That is a really good buy. That one is one of the only ones that I made that's turned in that direction. And it doesn't really mean anything. It just means that it's turned in that direction. Super, super clear on that one. It's like, you can, you can see how clear that is. Daniel again for the win. Nice, I got you on that. Yep. Both of the $60 ones tonight, and good job. All right, one more here. This one might be the bluest one. I mean, like, that's ridiculously blue, isn't it? Like, look at how blue that is. Blue. Wow. Blue. It is very blue. Very, very blue. Yeah, this is the bluest one. This is the type where, like, the needles are all, like, on the bottom of the quartz. And, you know, that doesn't mean it's... There's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's just... A, it's on the bottom of the quartz, and that one is blue. Blue, blue, blue. That's what it looks like there. That one is 120. Ten zero five two, and that one is blue. Blue, 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 blue. All right, I got two more of those for a hundred each. I think I'm gonna move on to some different type of blue. This is just like the purple and blue box. It doesn't really like. This is just purple and blue. So here's your Richterite T and me. 
Tea and me forever. All right, we'll stop singing. I'm definitely in a mood tonight. I should play some more ham pam. Uh, so this is really awesome. Do you have any not set? That is like the opposite question that everybody asks me. <laughs> They're usually like, do you have it set? And so I took out the ones that are set. Um, are you referring to Demordiorite? I do have Demordiorite not set. I do have some Richterite not set. I do have Sugilite not set. I don't know if I have Cheroite not set. Um, but I do. It, you'll have to DM me for the cabochons not set in any of these. I do have all of the ones that I mentioned. I did not do Covalite. Um, I don't have any Covalite prepared tonight. I showed four or five Covalites uh, in the last two live shows that we did. What's up, Nathan? How's it going, man? Good to see you, brother. Uh, Covalite, I will. I can easily show you that by direct message, Alley Cat. Um, I do that on a regular basis. Every time I show the Covalite, I get like five people that are like, "Show me Covalite." Covalite is like one of the holy grails of mm, quartz inclusions, and I love it. Anyway, so that's Richterite. There's a little bit of Sugilite right in here on the top there. That one's eighty bucks. And next one, this is a round piece. And that one is also Richterite, Sugilite, and I'm pretty sure the red is Hematite. Let me get this out of the way here. Come on now. Yep, so nice round Richterite, Sugilite, Hematite, Manganese. don't think there's bustamide in that. This red, I originally thought the red was like a jasper. Um, but when it cuts, it makes a mess. And I'm pretty sure it's hematite. And it's super hard. This stuff right here, oh my god, this is twice as hard as everything else. This one is 60 bucks, And super awesome coloring on that one. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Orange mango. <laughs> Did I miss anything? No. no. Daniel, 60 bucks for the Sugilite. That is a good one. Man, you're on a $60 roll here, bro. Should just show you like a whole flat of $60 rocks. <sighs> All right. Oh, that one's 60. I better not show that one or Daniel will buy it. I better show this one here and give somebody else a chance. I'll show that 61 in a second. This one is another round. This one, I really appreciate this one. And if I can get this light to do what I want it to do. This is mostly Suja light. And, yeah, no, it's actually split. Like This whole side is Richter right here and there's Suja light on here. And there's some suja light up in there. And my light's in the way. Gotta get a lot of light on these to show the color on some of them. This one's a, it's a little dark. And so you get a lot of light on it. And that one is 40, 40 dollar. 40 dollar. Next up. Uh, this one is the... This one, Richterite. It's Richterite. It's Richterite, all right. This one, I don't know if that one has maybe a tiny little bit of suge on the top right there. Mostly Richterite, a little bit of manganese, a little bit of hematite. This one is $35. T and me, that's screaming your name. I know it is. I can tell. It says it right there. T and me. <laughs> Just kidding, sweetheart. 35 bucks. That's probably the cheapest one that I've got. Um, all right, so 
All right, so I promised I'd show this one. This one goes out to the one I love. Lots of sujolite in this one. This one goes out to one I left behind. Daniel, $60. The magic price. Lots of sewage in that one. And it's got some, what do you call it? Uh, hematite and Richterite. And this one goes out to the one called Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that one's 60 bucks. Somebody else is perfectly willing and capable and able to buy that one. So don't feel obligated. 60 bucks. I'm glad I can make myself laugh. Um, all right, let's show some bigger ones here. This one is really big and it's not that expensive for the price, for the size, I mean. Super good Richterite. It's got multiple uh, layers of color of Richterite. And it's like probably got some translucency. Look at that. Uh, come on. Maybe not. But super dark here. It's got really cool patterns. I love that this is conglomerate. It like um, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's like, uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. This one's 85. Here, I'll say that. Pretty good. It's look, it's like two and a half fingers. And it's a really good size for $85. $85. This one has got lots of purple. Mostly sujolite. It's got a little red heart right there. Shh, don't tell Nicole. And whoa, look, there's totally a face there. I didn't even notice. This is like an A. Check this out. Oh, I got to zoom in on this. This is like, you, I know you see that face. Look at that. There's two eyes and it's like a scary face. You see, this is like the mouth. And it's like the, the head here and the two eyes and the little dot in the middle of the nose. It's like a goblin. Poking out Oh, there's another one there. Look, you see that? There's two faces on that one. That one totally looks like a mask. You see that? Mm -hmm. Am I the only one? It's a triangle head? Yeah, it's a triangular head. Mm -hmm. So there's two, literally, there's like two beings in here. They're like, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh that look, one's great. there's a mask there. And then this one's like a goblin and a bat. I don't see the bat. Bear that mask. Purple hair. Purple hair. This <laughs> one, this is totally a, a face right here. Like, dude, there's, uh, there's being, there's like totally Bear beings mask. in this. <laughs> Super cool. Gray bat. Oh, yeah, right there. I see. It's kind of like a ghost. Mm -hmm. I see a bat, but I also see a ghost. Like, literally. Like, two eyes. You see the two eyes? Man, my fingers are too fat. <laughs> That's super, super cool. It's definitely a ghost. There's, like, a face in here. There's a goblin off to the side, and there's a heart on the bottom. You, somebody, like some, one, somebody needs to buy this. This is 75 bucks. This is super cool. A number seven. Yep, there's a seven at the bottom. Seven, yeah, they look seven. Choo -choo. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. That one is 75. It's 1061. One. Halloween vibes for sure. Definitely a lot going on with that piece. And yep, there it is. Naughty, naughty. I love it. It's like zooming in on the camera thing. I find all these like different things. Uh, so this is the, this is, I think my favorite one. I mean, at least that's why I priced it. What I did, this was the more expensive one, but this is like got more going on. This is a big piece, a really nice thick suge light. This is like a red river going through the middle. Like this is like a painting. This is what I love about the conglomerate. So, oh look, there's this, this totally. Oh my gosh, I see something in here. This is a wizard. Look at this. All right, so there's totally like a being here standing by the river with this like cape and long flowing hair, or like a wizard cape. You see that? You can see the eye, like tiny little eye right there. Oh yeah. 
That's super cool. Kind of looks like a live hockey. Yep. So lots of sugilite on that one. That's like a blood red hematite river. Doing a spell. Definitely casting a spell on the river in a good way. Giving it lots of positive energy. And this is a big piece. And this one is 125. 1064. That's a really special piece. This one is definitely my favorite at first glance, but the more anthropomorphism we find along the way, the more I might change my mind. But that one has a lot of good suge. Sug, sugilite. Definitely artistic. I can't stop looking at this like being at the water right there. That's just like super mm -hmm. cool. It's definitely a wizard. That one's 125 for a big old sugilite pendant that's like inch and a half. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's do a couple. There's a couple less expensive ones here. This one is Richterite in hematite. This one is 30 bucks. And it's about that big. Sedimentary, that was the word I was looking for. Like the conglomerate where it all like sediments on top of each other. So that one's 30. Elephant profile, I don't know if I saw that. Elephant, elephant profile. Uh -oh. What's up? What do you mean? Am I frozen? Um, click X and go out again. Um, that one is 30. This one is 35. And this one's definitely like an oriental painting. Well, what is going on there? What is that? That little like box there. It's like a lunch box. Where? That little box right there. What is that? Oh, yeah, I see it. That's weird that it's just like a square. It's sitting on the blue. Oh, and there's like a dude there. You see that? That looks like the, a bust. Oh, and there's like a, ma a face there. Whoa, there's definitely beings in that one too. You see that? I see two different people. There's like a bust there and then there's like eyeballs right above it. I really need to turn, I need to change the angle of this. So the alien microchip, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Down, download, download alien. Oh, alien. This one's only 35 bucks. $35, very, very good price for you, my friend. It is, look, two fingers. You get one, two fingers for all $35. <laughs> all right, what else do we got here? Uh, this is a big one here for the price. What did I do here? That one's like, that one's dark blue. Got a lot of, a lot of stuff going on there. And it's got some hematite. And that one just speaks for itself. I don't know if I see anything in that one, but I'm sure if I look long enough, I'll find something. And this one is inexpensive for a big piece. That one's 40 bucks. Two fingers. That's, that's cheap. All right, got that one. And all right, we're gonna move on to only sugilite pendants. All of those were Richterite or Richterite and sugilite. And now these, I don't think these have Richterite in them. So here's a suge only. Somebody playing the drums. I'll play the drums, but I got to show you rocks. How am I going to play the drums and show you rocks at the same time? Oh, I know. Oh, wait. All right. I got to show the rocks. Sorry. Um, cool. So this one is 60 bucks, 
for an all Sujalite pendant. That is a good price. All right, so there's that one. And we're going to do this one. Uh oh, IG keeps kicking you out. That happened to my wife, too. They just like paused the video on her, she had to come back in. Uh, new diamonds, I know that you meant that you saw it in the crystal. I was just being a goofball because that's what I do. All right, sorry. Um, yeah, so this one is all Sujalite. Stop. There's like, <laughs> what, somebody say stop? Are you? There's a couple little dots in there. Sterling silver, yes, Brittany, it's all sterling silver. And you can see there, it's got a stamp on the end right there, 925. And this one is $80. Another really good piece. <laughs> Thanks, New Diamonds. I'm doing it just for you. <laughs> All right. More Sujalite. Do you have Sujalite? You can see the light through. Um, you know what? This one, this one actually has some translucency. Uh, Flork, I do have some jammy, jammy Sujalite. I didn't prepare any of that tonight. None of it's set. It is uh, cabochons. And the last time I showed non-set stuff, everybody was like, show me set stuff. And now tonight, everybody's like, show me the not set stuff. So it's just like, you know, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> um, let me try. See, this is terrible with this lighting. I'm trying to get this backlit. You can see that one shows a little bit of light through it. Not a lot, but it does. This one's kind of like a mauve, mauve-ish, pinkish, purpley-ish. Loose stones, jeez, come on. Last time everybody was like, show me the set stuff. And now it's like, show me the loose stuff. I have really good quality Sujalite that's loose. Um, I gotta figure out a better way to show it. Cause using, using this light that I've got, I'm gonna have to like turn it towards me like this in order to show, well, actually, you know what? The Sujalite that I have that's really good, I don't need to turn it because it's really good. And it, that you don't need a lot of light to get it to show. Um, but you guys, somebody should buy one of these because, you know, these are awesome too and these you can wear. I like it loose. I like it loose. Uh, I have tumbled Sujalite too. I've shown that before. I guess, you know, what am I going to say? If you guys don't want to see um, pendants, then I'll just move on. <laughs> But I don't have any other Sujalite prepared, and we're halfway through the show, so that'll have to be tomorrow. You need that 120 Demordiorite. Okay, super. Let me see this one right here. Yep. Alley Cat, confirm it for me. That is the bluest, bluest one I've got tonight. That's awesome. If I can get it to come on, come on. Oh, so yep, that one's stellar. I've got that one for you. Go ahead and confirm it. And all right, I've got you confirmed, Alley Cat. Thank you very much, Alley Cat. Okay, going once. I've got more jewelry, but. I think that we should move on. I do have loose the more you're right, but tonight's not the night. But I'll tell you what, I am going, I'm very seriously thinking about doing a Monday night show because it seems like a lot of people do Monday night shows. Thanks, Alley Cat. We appreciate you. Um, so I'm going to do, I'm going to go live again tomorrow night and I will prepare Demortiorite loose and Sujalite loose 
and I don't know, I'll just find a bunch of other loose stuff, cabochons and maybe some tumbled stones. Scan of the jewelry pile that you didn't show. $30, Sam, $30 chair white queen. That one is this one here. Yeah, Sam, $30 chair white claim. I got you on that one, Sam. It's so weird that my phone won't show his comments. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm glad that I'm getting them, and it's better me than better me than you. Um, okay, T and me. Uh, let me see here. So these are... I mean, it's really hard to to really get a great appreciation for these without taking them out of the bags. But so this is more chara white. That's really nice. This is a killer one. I really should probably show this one. This is like the best one in the box. It's a big piece. So more chara white. Uh, teardrop oval. Uh, there's one more Dumo. There's another Dumo. And there's some. Sujalite here and Richterite with Sujalite here. And it showed most of that box. So, uh, T and me, if you want to see something else, if you're after Richterite, I showed you the best Richterites, I believe. Uh, there's a couple of bigger ones. Um, I don't know what price range you're looking for. This one is like 50 bucks. 50, is that what it says? Yeah. Yeah, anyways. I'm gonna move on. I'm happy to direct message anything you wanna see as well. Uh, let's get this out of the way. And let's get this out of the way. All right, I think uh, we should do some mango quartz really quickly. Nicole, I'm gonna need you to help clean up. Um, can you put that whole thing away? Can I move these? Yeah, put that over stuff? here. Put that on the table there and put the um, stib knight away. In, a, in the flat? Yeah. The whole, all of these items? Uh, I'll just leave it and pull, okay. pull, pull the stuff over, and this one can be pulled over as well. I'll keep these here. Can you show a couple pieces of Apophyllite again? My IG went out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Instagram's being weird tonight. So. I'm gonna put this in here. Sam, I've got a. I didn't show a lot of the ones in this price range, but there is a bunch more in this flat that are in the $20 to $30 range. The ones that I've got out, like this one's $25. This one is $20. This has got still bite on it. This one is $20. They're all super sparkly. They're all double-sided. And this one is $35. It's like four fingers. And this one is 20. 10, 13 claim for Sam. Now I see that. All right. So I got you on 10, 13. This is another one that's in the 20 range. And in the rest, in the, other, the rest of them in the box, there's probably another 10 pieces in this range as well. There's even some in the $15 range. And they're all really good. It's really just based on size. The smaller one's obviously mm -hmm. a little bit left here. It's right here. 10, 13. And then there's some bigger ones. That one's 40. That's like half the size of my hand. Uh, yeah, I can, here, let me show some more of these. Let's 
So and here's another small one. This is these. I'm showing ones that I haven't shown yet. So this one is twenty dollars. Ten eighteen. And this one is. Oops, not that button. This one is twenty-five. This one, this is a small one, twenty bucks, ten nineteen. And this one is eighteen. That's like the smaller one. And there's one more here. It's 18. Those are the two that I have at 18. And there's a couple more $20 ones. If there's anything not bought tonight placed on the website. Um, feline goddess eventually stuff is going to get to the website but I usually like to show it more than once uh, we do this is only our sixth live show and we do get newcomers so I try to show everything a couple of times you know unless there's no interest but um, this stuff you know I did have a bunch of this on the website and I've got a bunch to restock I just haven't gotten around to it so this stuff in particular, or, or anything for this matter, if it doesn't sell and you want to see it, direct message is the easiest way because it's like all this stuff is skewed and it's in my office and it's really easy for me to find. So that's a lot faster than going through the process of getting it on the website. Um, if it sits around in my office for too long or we do it in a couple live shows, I will process it to go on the website, but that's like, it's gotta go through the media department and then it's gotta get listed and it's, it's a big old process to get it online and the live shows, the reason why we're doing these live shows is it's just like, boom, here it is, look, it's available and I can show you all this stuff at once. And the amount of time that it takes me, usually when I buy something, it's like it takes me forever to get it open because we've got rocks coming out of our ears. And then it, then once it's open, if it needs to be processed in a different way, like we got to process it by size and by quality control and by color. And then so we got to organize it and then I got to give it to my shipping team and they like pre-pack it all. And, and it like literally sometimes I'll have stuff for six weeks before it makes it online. And that's like if it's on the fast track, like I have stuff that I've bought two and a half years ago that is not available for sale yet because we have too many rocks and we have a big backlog of rocks. And so that's why we're starting to do these lives. I mean, I can't show it all. Even You know, it takes a lot of time to prepare them as well. Um, but we're doing our best to try to do both worlds and so far so good all right so that's most of the smaller ones new diamonds you have laughed yourself so much tonight and i think it's time for you to pick one out <laughs> uh, stars forever these are apophyllites with druzy quartz on top and still bite on top of that if it's got these little uh, lines on it that's still bite uh, the jersey quartz is is on top that gives it all the sparkle and the apophyllite is the base mineral super crazy stuff really high vibe material apophyllite is like super good for crown chakra stuff and um, just for you know raising vibration in general Waiting for the ones that speak to you, but I showed you the good ones. Come on. Here, look. This, all right, this is the one. Ready? Da, 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 da. Hello, new diamonds. I'm talking to you. Oh, I like you. You need to come with me. Okay. Sorry, I'm being weird. Um, if it doesn't scream to you, tell me to shut up. And uh, if it doesn't scream to you, it doesn't scream to you. I personally think that the rocks choose what they want to do. So 
these rocks don't like you, bro. They're just like, no, we don't want to go home with that person. Like, we're going to stay here with all of our friends. <laughs> just kidding. By all means, if you find one that screams at you, then that's the one for you. And if you don't, then I'm going to cry. <laughs> Look, that one's got a red dot. He and me, this yeah, the pink bowl, right? Like this one? Is that what you're talking about? What was that? What? Did you hear that? The pink bowl. I wish some of the wind screams so loud at me. Yeah, tell me about it. They all scream at me. They're all like, bring me home. And I'm like, I can't take you all. I don't have enough money. Why do you have to cost money? All right, T and me, what do you think about that bowl? That is the nicest one. Um, this is the pinkest one. They're all really nice. That one's 50 bucks. All right, I'm gonna move on to 1101. All right, I'll do it for 40, just for you. No problem, you can have it. $40. Very, very good price for you. You pay now in rupees. Okay, TME, I got you that one. Put it aside for you. I'm glad that you found one that you liked. And I might have to send you another piece of chocolate so you can have a meal this week. I know last time you were like, I can't eat, but I need crystals. Sorry, I'm sorry, I understand. All right. So, going once, going twice, these are going back over here. There's a bunch in the $18 and $20 range. Um, if you really want to see some, like, other ones later, not tonight, uh, send me a DM. I can show you some other ones. I do have some pink ones. I have some really big ones, too, like huge ones like this. Payday! Woohoo! Sweet! All right. Facts, it's crystals or food. Oh, one of these days I'm gonna figure out how to assimilate and eat crystals. I'm just gonna be like, I don't need food, I'm just gonna eat rocks. But you know, it might be hard to sell them then. Oh, that's my problem. I gotta raise my seat. There, look at that. I was in my hand pan mode. Okay, next up, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna show you some mango quartz. And I've got single crystals and clusters. The clusters are from 80, 80 to a couple hundred. The singles are from 30 to 50. And this one is $50. It is four fingers in length. I know, right? Talk about teeth, man. This is crazy. I, got, I had a Vedic astrology reading uh, like last week. or eh, It was about two weeks ago now. And this lady totally blew my mind. She's like, uh, it was actually very at the end of June. And she was like, it looks like you're going to have a dental problem in July. And I was like, what? shut up. Are you kidding? And I'm like, I swear to God, I only get a dental problem like once a decade. And when she said that, I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Like, I already feel the cavity in my mouth. And you're telling me by reading my astrological chart that I'm going to have a dental problem. And I'm like you gotta be kidding me and like seriously i have to call the dentist in the morning and be like yeah my astrologer told me i was gonna have a cavity and i have a cavity and they're gonna be like what, <laughs> what are you talking about they're like swear to god man true story uh t and me dts mm, i don't think so my singles here are not doubly terminated uh, there's some double terminated crystals on the clusters that I'm going to show. The clusters are aesthetic and um, they're pricier for sure. Uh, this one's 50 bucks. So the yellow is Haloi site. Like, Haloi, matey, Haloi! Except it's actually just a clay mineral that has a really funny name. Haloi site. Uh, they have blue smoke. Yeah, they totally do. This is the same as the blue mist mine. 
Um, the blue mist. I have a lot of blue mist. Uh, I showed them in, in one live, and nobody really said anything about them, so I haven't shown them again. But I do have a lot of blue mist. Uh, I can probably even wholesale some blue mist. I've probably got like, I don't know, five boxes or ten boxes of it. Okay. And uh, those are the more expensive ones. And then we got this one is 35. Yeah, they're definitely different in person. All right, so there's that one, 35. This one, 25. You can see the multiple terminations, terminal faces there, if I can get the light to shine on it, right? <clears throat> All right. You guys into these or should I move on? Uh, there's only four more left. I'll show you these singles. I do have some really nice clusters that are just really pretty. Very, very pretty. And I've got this one. All right. Good. New diamonds, I need to go home with you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. <laughs> Look at all the pretty faces I have on the side. <laughs> <laughs> very, very pretty. Very pretty. Dun it. Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. Ah! That looks cool. I know, right? There's all these little like terminations on the side. Where did it go? Uh, I can't wait to get our generator. We're getting a generator tomorrow installed. I'm so excited. Yay. Then if the lights go out. I can still do live shows. I can be like, ha ha, you can't top, you can't beat me. I have a generator so I can show my rocks. All right. This is the last one. If you don't like it, I will put it away. $40. Make, make good price for you, my friend. You take all. I give you best price ever. You take all you can have for double price, my friend. Best, best, best. Okay, moving along. We have a rhodochrosite stalactite baby. Show 40 more. 40, this one? Um, 40. 40, okay. Weed killed me. Welcome. Were you, uh, were you commenting on the Roto? I switched over to this crystal really quick. Uh, this is Mango Quartz. It is Haloi site. T and me. I've got you down that for 40. T and me for this one. Uh, Haloi site. Mango Quartz. It's from Colombia. What? H-A-L-L-O-Y-S-I-T-E. And, yep. Yeah. Okay, dokie. That's all the Mango Quartz uh, singles that I have to show you. I've got a whole box. Can I get a top overview? Yeah, let me see. Let me, let me give you this overview here. Here you go, fermenter, mentor. Can you teach me how to make kimchi? Cause your name says you can. Um, 
Teach me how to make kimchi. Actually, kimchi is really easy. Um, I'm too lazy to make it, though. Top right one. Um, Chelsea, I th I'm hoping you got that. I'm going to move on to showing this now. Balky from Perfect Strangers. I remember that show. Yeah, kimchi's really easy. But I'm too lazy to make it. I just I'm I'm swimming in rocks. Can I please have 793 793. Yes. B B N L V. I got you on that one. B B N L V. Bubble Something like that. B B N L V. Here you go. Okay. Awesome. All right. So that's what we've got left for singles. I do have clusters. Should I show you the clusters now? They're in a different box, but and they make they're kind of messy, but they're really really nice. Uh, they're in the here. I guess I'll show this. Let me put this away. Um, might as well do clusters while we are at it. Yeah, well. No. Mm -hmm. All right, clusters. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. These have like brown on the bottom that like comes off and it's not like it's a big deal, but it makes a mess. Um, so don't worry about that. But I'm gonna try to not make a mess of my nice white tablecloth. So it gets really interesting from here. And you can see that's the brown that is kind of muddy. And we got a couple nice little crystals over here and some needles over there and a nice big terminated crystal there. And this one is a hundred bucks and it's already making a mess. Look at this. <laughs> uh, let's, see, let's see if I can not make a mess here. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this. All right, so, yeah, make me some room. All right, 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 all right. This one, I think this is the most expensive. Daniel, this is mango quartz from Colombia. It's with a clay mineral called Haloisite. This one is just stupid. It's so good. Look at this. Like, what the heck? Where'd my little thingy go? All right. Okay. So, yeah, this one is the most expensive one that I'm offering tonight. This one's 250 This is super crazy aesthetic. I mean, like, you could mount that, and that is, like, a fine mineral specimen like super balanced it's got this nice point here it's got all these other little nice points on the side most of them have tips with a little yellow in there oh man i'm gonna make a mess so here check this out and show you all this craziness so that one it's 250 And the rest of them that I have are from like 100 to 150 for the most part. And let's see about making some room. Let's see about cleaning up my mess. Um, we got this one. Hi. You like me? I want to come home with you. <laughs> I'm a talking crystal. <laughs> this one's 110. I'm not weird. I'm a talking crystal. Uh, no, these are not citrine. This is mango quartz. It is haloisite in quartz, which is a clay mineral. It comes from Colombia. 
in the mountains of Boyacá province. And is it Boyacá? Yeah, I think it's in Boyacá. Boyacá! Yeah, 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 yeah. Colombia is a pretty awesome place. I went there in 2011. And I went on, went on a vine ceremony. And we went to the emerald mines. And we went deep into the earth and saw a bunch of stuff in the middle of the earth. And we just had a blast. Colombia was awesome. Super cool. We had empanadas. Oh my God, empanadas, man. You could not believe the empanadas, man. They had the best empanadas I've ever seen in my life. Okay, this one. 110. Very nice aesthetic clusters. Uh, that one, does it stand? It stands like that. Um... This would be perfectly straight up the way that the camera shows, but you know, it's, it's, it stands at an angle. Oblong Essence 110, I've got you for that one. That would be this one. And thank you for that claim. Oblong Elegance, sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, T and Me, I think Oblong Elegance beat you to it on that one. Oh, claimed by Oblong, yep, you got it. Thank you, Oblong. Elegance, I like your name. That's pretty cool. That's kind of an oblong crystal that you just got. And let's do some more. This one definitely stands on its own. The angle of the camera is really weird, but if you were to put the camera at like this angle, you would see that that one stands at probably the perfect uh, what you call it? I don't know. The perfect aesthetic angle for standing. Check it out. It's got very nice aesthetics, very well balanced with this crystal going this way and these coming off to the side. It's got one here in the back. That's just super. It's got a nice quartz base. And that one is 125. And I think these are really well priced. I do see other people that um, ask more for these. I'm not marking them up very much. I bought these three years ago. Have you shown the one in the box on the right? You mean this one? BBNLV. I got you for the claim on 992 for $125. Um, Oblong Elegance. Let me show you this one again. This is the probably the best one of the box. This one is the most aesthetic one that I have in this group. I probably underpriced it. It's 250 And this is just super. Um, it does have this brown stuff on the bottom, which is a siderite, which decomposes a little bit. It kind of makes a little bit of a mess, but it's normal for this material, and it's not going to hurt the cluster or anything, but it definitely gets on my fingers. Just so you know, I'm trying to be transparent about it. Um, but look at it. <laughs> Stellar piece. There's nice, crazy awesomeness in the tip. And it's got all these very nice, lustrous, clear crystals. Uh, very balanced formation. Uh, nature does not always produce aesthetic crystals and clusters, and this is a really good example of a very nice aesthetic crystal and cluster. It's pretty well balanced. That one's 250. Oh yeah. Um, all right. So. there all right so we showed those my little um i got some more don't worry let's move on to this one I'm trying to clean up as i go because this stuff it makes a mess and i get it on my fingers and it's like turmeric it's like it doesn't come off <laughs> <laughs> it does you got to wash it off though all right here's another one this has got some interesting aesthetics uh, it's kind of going in a couple different directions this one is doubly terminated from here to here and this is kind of like a cross-hatching situation going on here 
then we can turn it this way and we can see these other crystals here and here really nice and then there's some other ones over here they're really nice $7.99 for Mentor Mentor 25. I only saw one. I don't know if there was others, but I do see you now. $7.99, $25. is this one. I got you for this one, Chelsea. And if there was another one, speak it again, because I, that's the first claim that I've got you in a minute. So I got you for that one. Um, all right, back to this. This one's 140. That one there. Sam, I got you for 797. This one here, Sam Bryan. Cool, thanks, Chelsea. It's this whole shadow banning thing is so dumb. We're gonna beat it. We're gonna beat it one way or another. If I have to switch to texting, <laughs> we're gonna do that. DT means double terminated. Weed killed me. It, I'll show you. Like so, so this is a single termination where there's one crystal. There's a termination here, and then the bottom it was attached. There's not a termination here. A double termination is like this guy here, where there's a crystal here, and then you go down to the bottom, and there's a termination on the bottom side as well. That's what double terminated means. And it applies to lots of different types of crystals. It's usually more sought after. Um, I mean, you know, by all means, single terminations are great too. It just depends on aesthetics. But double terminations are have different properties. And they're also really exciting for collectors and for other reasons. All right, cool. Check this one out. This one's neat. This one doesn't have any matrix. This one stands. Get, 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 get. This one stands up perfectly. And camera's not at the right angle. It'll stand like this. Native Beach Bum, welcome. We are right now showing mango quartz from Colombia. It is a halloy site included quartz, which is a clay mineral. Uh, it is Colombia with a double O, not a U. <laughs> I always get on people's case about that. It's not Christopher Columbia. Colombia. It's Colombia. Colombia. And this one is really awesome. It doesn't have any matrix. It stands on its own. It's got three or four crystals. Check out the, what I like about this crystal is this right here is, uh, I believe it's a twin. Check this out. See all that? That's just super. No, not like that. C O L O M B A. M B I A C O L O. No you. No Christopher Columbus. <laughs> I always say that's the that's how white people always mess that up. <laughs> yes, please me cluster. Are you talking about this one? B N L V? B B N L V. Talking about this one. This is 125. If you want to claim, please put that number there. And I will claim that for you. BBNLV, or if there was another one in the back, um, I don't know if you were talking about, okay, 125, so you're talking about the one that's right in front of me. Great, 994, we got you for that, BBNLV, I'm going to make up an acronym, what is BBNLV, it's um, BB in love, BB in love, BB's in love. Um, Brandberg, never Las Vegas. Okay, that's terrible. I was like, <laughs> that wasn't a good one. I'll come up with one that's better than that when I'm not being an idiot. Uh, all right, Nicole, I'm going to need another one of those uh, wipey things. Okay. Oh, here, you can use those for the clusters, by the way. All right, so here's a little cluster, and this one is super. It's smaller, but like, oh my God. Like... I'm going to curse. This one's so fucking good. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Dun, 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 dun. This one's just stellar. Look at how clear that is. B 
Big booties, no lost vipers. Vampires. Yep, all right. I didn't say that. Somebody else did. I'm just reading. <laughs> cool. So look at this quality here. Look at the luster on that. What is going on there? What is that? That's crazy. It's, I can't even like see this with my eyes. I love this phone camera. It's so cool. So there's like some crazy stuff going on there. That's fine. Leave it. I'll leave the other one. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's fine. Anyways, lots of stuff going on here. Here's like the focal point. Look at the like water clear quartz. And then this. Check this out. This is like, it's got this thing on the crossing the top. It's got one crossing off the side. This is like, uh, what's that thing Jasper used to do with his hands? Like the, um, what was that called when you do like this? Remember that? Remember that? Yes. Yeah, What's it called? Oh, I can't remember now. These like these like young kids, man, in their terms. What is that called? This is like what those young kids do when they do like boom, like throw their hand over their head and like. Point. Yeah, I can't remember now. I'm I must be getting old. Anyways, this piece is super awesome. This one is a little smaller than the other ones, but its quality is really amazing. This one's 150 bucks. 997 is the skew. Dab! Yes! That's it. It's a dab. I should have remembered. Of course, you, of all people, would know because your name is Weed Killed Me. When I think of dab, I'm like, well, what dab? They're talking about something they shouldn't be talking about. They're too young for that shit. Um, T and me forever. I got you on that. But look, yeah, this, this crystal is dabbing. It's totally dabbing. It's like, what up, dude? I'm like, teenager. Woo! T and me, I got you on that one. That's a really good score. I'm happy for you. Um, you got to take a big dab when you get this crystal. <laughs> Dabbing. Oh uh, All right. Wow, she's graduating to dinner box. Yeah. Yeah. Alley Cat, believe me, if I didn't have a teenager, well, he's not a teenager yet, but when he was like 10, he was like, yeah, dab this and dab that. I'm like, mm you should be talking about that and he was like no it's this thing and I'm like oh okay alright here's the next one this one stands up sort of at an angle and it's a really nice cluster and it's got a nice mango in the front and it's got Really cool stuff on the sides. And there's the back side. And what else to say about that? That's just really awesome. <laughs> it's great. New diamonds. I'm gonna have to charge you for the comedy. Um, we're gonna have to we're gonna have the we're, we're gonna have an entrance fee. Uh, I will make you laugh, I promise. You don't have to buy anything. You will only laugh for me. It will make me feel good. That one's 90 bucks. And that one's pretty cool. Oh, look at how it turns. That crystal totally is bent. Like, it goes up here, and then it bend, It bends right there. Stand up on the side. I mean, I try, you know, but I'm usually the only one laughing. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a loner, isolated in my home. Oh, only me. I make myself laugh. Only me. Nobody else wants to laugh at me. I mean, with me. <laughs> okay. This one, this one is having many, many crystal. There is one, two, three, four, five, ten, forty-five, sixty-four, eighteen thousand crystal. Oh my God! One piece. Look, doubly terminated here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Look. One, two, wait, what's going on there? What? Is that, that is that double turn? No, that's not double terminated. You rusty dumbass. Derp. It was trying to be double terminated. Look, all right, so there's like this little halloy side in there, but it's actually like there's like a little stop in the crystal and the material got in there. And it looked like it was double terminated, but it was tricking me. You pulled it so close to the camera, it was just a blurry blob. I know. Did somebody say that? No, that's what you did. I know, I was being jokey. I did it on purpose. Derp. Derp. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Back to seriousness now. This one is $120. Not rupees. United States dollars. Please, please, my friend. I will give you the best price. Look at that. That's like where all the stuff got, like pushed out in the back and then oh look it's turmeric it comes down with it, it's got turmeric in the bottom it's like good for your heart <laughs> it's very Indian. yes maybe it's making me talk like indian because it has turmeric in there don't do it my friend okay this one i put here you like it's here over here you like you tell something to me i will give it to you very very best price Okay, I got three more. This has been like the funnest box ever. Funnest is like definitely a word. Yes, it's curry powder. It's not spicy enough though. I love spicy food. Spicy food is life. Okay. My my family thinks I'm crazy. Habanero is not even hot to me anymore. It's just like normal. And I use sriracha instead of ketchup. Ketchup is like, what? This is like water. I need my Sri Raja, man. Okay, so this one stands up on its own. And it's got a couple different viewpoints. There's like a nice crystal there. And it's got uh, this nice tall crystal here with one growing in the side. And then it's got this beautiful jammy crystal on the side here. And then this guy crosses over and touches that guy on the back. And this guy touches, well, almost. It's just like a big contact dance party going on. Oots, oots, oots. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's laughing at me. Oh, Jasper. How are you doing? Good. Good? You're good. Yes. Uh, the blue smoke, it's definitely got blue mist smoke up in there. Uh, oh, look, it's got some stuff. Look, it has hair. What is that? Is it, that on the outside? Yes, it's hair. <laughs> I swear it's not mine. <laughs> It is silver. Oh, yes. Very good. <laughs> yep, there's blue smoke in there. Blue smoke, mist, whatever you want to call it. That's another uh, amphibole mineral. And it's definitely in there. Anyways, let me move on here. I've been like laughing and being the goofball. That one's 125. And yep, there's some plant matter in there. I've got two more clusters of this to show you, and then we're going to move on because we are counting down the last hour. And you guys are still with me, even though I'm being a total idiot. That's good. Okay, this one totally stands on its own as well. Uh, it's, it leans back a little bit when you get it sort of at that angle. And this one's really neat. Um, it also can display this way, but I think it's better the other way. But it's got matrix. Uh, that's the host rock. They call it matrix. And look at that. It's nice and clean and clear. There's a good little point there. It's got this little guy with this little crystal coming out the side. And it's got all these needles. And that's just a killer piece. Very good, my friend. Okay, this one is 140. Sorry, I screwed that up there. That's a four. And I have one more to show you. And I'll do it. Maybe do a quick recap. And. This is the last one here. And this is a thick, nice thick crystal. It's got lots of uh, little terminations on the side, like a lot. Look at all those. Pew. 
And it's got like this little cavern in there. And good luster there. And I think it stands up. It sort of stands up kind of to the side there. And this one is $90. Here's the back side. Oh, it's a twin, maybe? Almost a twin. That is the last mango quartz that I have to show you. And that might have been the most comedic box that we've had so far. I don't know why, but it only took six shows for me to, like, let it all hang out. Hey, no laughing at me. Okay, do you guys want to recap of this or can I move on? Pretty sure I showed all that. Uh, let's do this one. Let me recap really quick. That one's 90. The one I just showed you is 90. Uh, this is the first one. This one's 100. Super nice. Got nice little crystals on the side. And this one is my favorite one. Honestly, this should be like 350 or 400 bucks. And if it goes to the website, that's probably what I'm going to put it at. But it's 250 here. If I was to recommend one, that would that would be the one. And then we got this guy at 140, double terminated, and some other sidecar crystals, lots of good color. And we got this guy, this is like the Matrix piece, it's kind of like a ship, it's like a boat or something. That one's 140. This one is 125. Also a nice aesthetic piece. And this is the last one. That one's 120. All right. I'll leave these out for a minute. And let's see. guys away huh? 11 yeah one hour countdown and if I go if we don't get through it all tonight I am going to go live tomorrow night everyone um, my wife not like might, might not like me afterwards but I think Monday nights is a popular night on Instagram and we are going to try it as well we've got enough material ready I'm gonna move on to the next one, this is a number eight, and this is a rhodochrosite stalactite from the Capellitas mine, Capellitas. This is an amazing little piece. So this is a great piece ready to set in jewelry. It's also a good collectible piece. This is $65, and that's awesome. This is another one. It's got a couple stalactites growing together. Yeah, buddy. I love these. This is definitely one of my staple staple offerings. This one's 55. Uh, I bought a really big collection of ridiculous rhodochrosite stalactites uh, a couple years ago. I mean, like some of the best that ever, ever was found. And I still have a few of those left on the website. This one is a number eight. It's perfect. Or it's like eyeballs or infinity here's looking at you i'm looking at you you need to take me home i'm looking at you <laughs> and this one is 88 oh yeah it's boobs that's it it's cleavage where's where's uh what's that lady's name Boobs McGee. Where's Boobs McGee when you need her? This is this would be a rock for Boobs McGee. Is it McGee? I think it's McGee. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that, 
That's the woman in Georgia. I can't remember her first name. Anyways. How much are Columbia night? Um... Well, you know what? Here, I can show this really quick. I do have a... I don't know if you just want an individual. The better Columbia Knights that I have... Here's some wholesale. I did have some wholesale together. Look. So this is a wholesale lot of Columbia Knight. This whole lot is 300 bucks for 250 grams. And these are all complete. And they all show translucency. And they have flat backs. And they've got uh, stuff like this going on. So I have a couple of wholesale lots, and I do have um, individuals that are killer Columbia Knights. I, I showed some of those on Friday night on Facebook. I don't think I'm going to show them tonight, but I have them. They're um, $8, no, 8 I think $6 a gram for the best quality. And like this is, this is like still amazing, don't get me wrong, but this is like my third quality. And then this is the second quality here. This is another parcel. Um, dyslexic coffee. I That was kind of a parcel. I'm selling as a parcel. I wasn't planning on doing these individually, but I can totally show you one of these or some of these after the show. This lot is 250 grams. It's $400. Uh, if you guys are not looking for a parcel, we can show the quality that you need. Uh, let's do that in direct message after the show. Um, I just got a parcel in. This is my what I consider my second grade. Um, yeah, sure, dyslexic coffee. Do you mean light ones like showing light through them or light in weight or both? Or light in color? Because some of them are gray. Anyways, yeah, just direct message me. We'll work on that. Uh, this one's this. So this is... Uh, by all means, for most people, this is first grade, but my first grade is, like, ridiculous. Like, has tons of texture, so this is a, a wholesale parcel. If you want individuals, I do have a bunch listed on my Etsy shop, or I can direct message you uh, after the show or whenever. Uh, this might be a good time. I don't know if there's anybody here looking for wholesale. But I do have a couple other wholesale lots. Um, these are prophecy stones. I have a flat of these that are prepared individually. Um, but I have this lot right here. This is super cheap. This whole lot is 150 bucks, And that's just like giving them away. But, you know, somebody's got to make money if you're a reseller. And... I've got lots of them, so message me if you want something like this. I have many kilos. I'm responsible for wholesaling to a lot of the people out there who are wholesaling. And yeah, so anyways, we have these. And I have individuals too. I can definitely show individuals. They run from 20 to 50 bucks. Probably not going to do that tonight. Um, okay, all right. I'm going to pause and blow your mind. This is available. I have not priced it yet. But if you have another set of underwear, I suggest you go find it. Because this is pretty crazy. Let me see how many bubbles I can get shown. One, two, three. Here, this might not be the easiest thing to video. Oh, come on. So I have one of these that I showed the other night that's in my collection that has like 25 bubbles in it. And this is from the same find. This one doesn't have 25 bubbles in it. But it definitely has... Um, I can't even count. There's a lot. There's probably there's at least five bubbles. There's one here. There's one here. There's one there. Alright, well there's at least three. Oh. Here, watch. Let's just move it all really fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is quartz. This is called an hydro. It's got water bubbles that have been trapped inside the quartz for like a million years or whatever. 
Uh, some people are like, dude, that's so cool. I want to break it open and drink the water, man. And like, that's like a really cool idea, except it'll make you really sick. And some dumbass actually has done that before and like puked for like three days. <laughs> oh. Tea and me forever. Prophecy stones. Got you on that lot. That's a really killer lot. Um, definitely inexpensive and good deal. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? It's, the whole thing is one thing. Yeah. T and me, I got you on that. Um, all right. So, this guy... Yeah, there's just a bunch of bubbles going on in here. I showed... The one in my collection is, like, a serious panty dropper. Oh, shit, there's stuff in there. Watch right here. Watch here. Let me zoom in. There's some... There's There's stuff falling in here. Watch right here. There's other material that... See that? What? That's metallic. That's totally something... Alright, watch. Right where my fingertip... The, right where my nail is right there. Watch that piece. Oh, yeah. Little... Right there. Debris. See? Debris. See the debris? What? That's like little hematite flakes. So mm -hmm. I didn't even notice that with my eyeballs until... The, like, this is why it's good to have a camera with a killer zoom. So let me see. I, I'm not even going to attempt to count all the bubbles, but there's definitely a lot Does of bubbles. Does the yellow move? What? Whoa, that's a big bubble. Where'd that come from? Did that just dislodge? I didn't even see that one. That one's huge. Whoa, hold up, hold up. Come back. Whoa. What? All right, so that one, like, goes in this cavity. Watch this bubble right here. Mm -hmm. It disappears. It goes into another cavity. See that? It goes up into here. And then it comes back down. Watch, it comes down. Bloop. Oh my God, it makes a circle. That's so cool. All right, watch. It'll make, it makes a loop. All right. The more I look at this, the less I want to sell it. <laughs> Do the bubbles stay forever? Um... Most of the time they do. I've had this piece for enough time that if the bubbles were not going to stay, they probably would have evaporated. Most of the time they do, but these are polished crystals and sometimes like there'll be like a hole that goes into the cavity and it has happened to me that I've had them dry up, but I will say that I, uh, the people who I get these from check them very, very carefully and usually they are good about helping me when they disappear and i've only had a couple disappear and it usually happens within the first six months and i've had this one for over six months so i don't think that it's going to happen they're all trapped in there yeah sometimes the bubbles go Oh, absolutely. Keep it away from freezing temperatures and from really hot temperatures and from uh, quick changing temperatures. Um, so I haven't priced this one yet. I'm not even really sure what I should offer it for. It's not cheap. Um, but I wanted to show you. I have to think about it. If you're serious, it's definitely going to be more than 500 bucks. Uh, so I'll just... Uh, I'll let it sit over here, and we'll we can talk about that. Okay, in the, with the light on it? Yeah, it's okay in here. No stars forever. I'm gonna show you. No, that this one's for sale, you guys. I'm, I'm gonna show you mine. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, this is the reason why I'm not keeping that one. Um, yeah, let me put it in my hand for you. So this is the one that's for sale. Weed for me. Weed killed me. Um, stars forever. This is the one. All right, this is not for sale. I'm just going to show tell you that right now. This is the reason why I'm not keeping that one. Because there's literally like 25 bubbles in this one. This is my personal piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Yeah, this is just stupid. It makes me want to vomit. It's so good. Yeah, I mean, I can't even count them all. Yeah, so... 
This is my personal piece. The one that's available is still very amazing and this is just a weird it must have been one pocket that was like that i mean look at that i don't even have to move it and you know it's there's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i mean i can count ten without even them moving yeah so that's the reason why i'm not I'm, that i'm selling the other one because i have a better one <clears throat> Oh, yeah, this is, this is open. Okay, sweet. All right. Okay. I just put a big piece of chocolate in my mouth, and I can't <laughs> talk until I finish chewing it. Um, BBNLV. I was just about to say I better price it. Um... I'm chewing and thinking, hold on. <clears throat> what does this need to be? This is hard. I should have priced it before the show. One, two. I can, I see at least five bubbles and then it's got that little stuff in it. Um... I'm gonna say 800. <laughs> 800. I apologize. It's definitely worth it. It's a great piece. It could be worth more. It's definitely a speculative value. My husband said, no. That's the no, like, no, we have to have that. Why'd you turn that on? No, turn it off quick before it's too late. No. All right. I'm going to put it over here. You guys can think about it. You can fight over it. In the meantime, I'm going to show you other rocks. Oh man, God, I have the craziest Super 7s to show you. They're even better than the other ones. I'm not going to do that just yet. I have one. This is the only one of these I have. Uh, the Inhydro is from Madagascar, the one that I showed you. Most of the good Inhydros are from Madagascar. So this is a Trapiche Bronze oh. Sapphire from Myanmar and you can see one two three how did I get into rock selling oh that's a long story um, <laughs> the short version is we were studying yoga in Rishikesh which is in northern India um, right after we went to the largest spiritual gathering that's ever taken place on the planet uh, the Mahakumbha Mela there was five million people that it, had gathered at the convergence of the three sacred rivers in India and we went and studied yoga and we were like totally just fell in love with rocks one day. We didn't know anything about them and we were like, oh, let's go check out some rocks. And we started buying jewelry and started reading about them as a physical properties. And um, the rocks literally were like, you're coming with me. <laughs> and we bought some jewelry and came home from India and we started selling jewelry and then we started getting into raw rocks and minerals and like... Then we found Peter site and that sealed the deal and we got some and we posted one piece of, we posted our first rock on eBay and sold it in like 45 minutes and it was off to the races from there. Do I have any larger roto slices? Um, I definitely do. There's some on the website and on the Etsy shop and I know I have some that aren't listed but uh, the really good ones that I have are on the website. So I would definitely, if you want a really good one, I would suggest going there. Um, I do have some others that are not, that are good, um, that are not prepared. But send me a direct message and I will show you some stuff. Anyways, this is from Myanmar. It's a trapiche. T and me, you're on a roll. Are you going to be able to eat this week?
this is a Trapiche bronze sapphire that was just claimed by T and Me Forever. Help me stop. All right, I'm going to block you. Ready? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. But seriously, don't. Um... Yeah, hold on, hold on. She wants to see the back. Don't, don't hurt yourself. There's the back. And then there's the front. Super piece. I bought that in Osaka. No, Kyoto. I bought it in Kyoto. Oh, thank you very much for go to Kyoto. I've been selling in Japan for over 10 years. Oh, she wants to see the side now. Okay. There's the side. And yeah, I bought it from some friends, some Burmese friends or Myanmarese friends in Kyoto. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I'm going to move on to Super 7, and these are also panty droppers. I'm sorry. They're really, really, really good. i got to move my thing closer here. I'm going to start with this guy, and we're going to do this. So... These are all hand selected. They're from Madagascar. Similar to that one. Um, crystal that I had before that had the full hematite phantom that was like a scepter. So this is like the scepter. This is the specular hematite in the center. It's got the little amethyst dot in the center. It's got all these red dots. And a lot of these have this... The reason why I bought these, I mean, I love them all, but see this yellow stuff in the top? This is really different. This is, I think, actually, I don't really know what it is. Somebody told me what it was, but I can't remember. It might be limonite, but it's in, like, little sprays. This, All this stuff in the top, this stuff. This is, like, it's hard to see on the camera, but this is super, super cool. And, like, you'll see it better in other crystals. This is the smallest one. This one's 60 bucks. And I have one, two, three, four, eight more to show you. And there's a couple more in this price range, but they go up from there. Um, but these are stellar. These are ridiculous crystals. And like, I'm not marking these up very much. I paid a lot for them. And I'm trying to offer them for as fair as I can because I can't have like $200 crystals the size of my thumbnail every time. Sometimes, yeah. So look at this. See all that yellow? That's just ridiculous. Like, I had never seen it before, and I was like, stop what you're doing and show me all the yellow ones. And when I saw, I mean, I literally was like, yep, those are the ones. Yay. I've never seen this yellow before. I don't remember what it is. It might actually be rutile. Golden rutile. I don't remember, though. It's it. I can't see it well enough with my eyes. i got to get a loop. But it's like, it looks like little tufts kind of like growing like chlorite like it doesn't look like needles it looks like little bursts but it's just crazy and there's there's just so much going on in these it just is ridiculous like chock full of ridiculous panty droppers this one is wait all right where's that other one yeah, okay that one's 60 bucks that's too cheap but it is what it is Hopefully you like it. And size, it's like an inch, maybe an inch. I don't think it's dendrites. Uh, all right, this is the last one that's at 60 bucks. This one's also 60 bucks. This one is pretty small, but this one packs a punch. Like, look at this. Let me see if I can get my fingers out of the way. Like, oh. what the heck, man? Oh, and it's got this, like, thing. It's got a crystal on the side. And look at this. This is cool. This is like a almost like a portal, and you could see the needles inside. Like, like in here. That's super neat. And see, look at this. So this was another crystal that had the yellow that was, like, poking into the side of that. But, yeah. I 
don't even know if I need to speak about how good these are. So T and Me, there's three of them at 60. Oh, this one actually, sorry, this one's 75. These two are 60. Um, if you want, please tell me which number. The last one is 75. I apologize. I did say 60, but I had that one wrong, I think. No, no, there was only two at 60. So that one's 75. And crazy well worth it. I've got you down for that one. T and me forever. Gonna have to send you two pieces of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving along. Uh, fermenter, mentor, I see your comment now. I do see you unblocked. I did not see any claim comments from you. I really apologize. Um, if you do have a claim, Sam Bryan seven seven five. I got you on that. That is killer. You guys are getting lucked out with these. These are amazing. I literally probably paid 60 bucks each for these little guys, but they're stellar. Crazy, 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 crazy quartz is like just full of stuff. Um, oh, which one? There was one that had an anhydro. Did I already show that? Shit. One of them had a bubble. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, which one? Is it this one? Oh, no, it's this one. I haven't shown it yet. I claim a piece of that chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an inside joke. Uh, last time she bought from us, she was like, I'm not going to eat. I'm just going to buy crystals. And I was like, I'll send you a piece of chocolate. <laughs> But, you know, if you spend a little bit of money, I'll send you some chocolate, too. So this one is super rad. It's got loads of stuff as well. Let me try to zoom back out a little bit. See if I can hold it. Get this backlit going. This is just like, there's a whole world going on in this. Wow. This one is $90. 769. Oh, that's insane. <clears throat> that one Excuse me. Fermenter Mentor. Fermenter Mentor. I guess I'm not supposed to buy any more crystals. 77360. I got you for that. So, Fermenter Mentor. You are supposed to buy more crystals. You just They're telling you that you have to persevere. <laughs> I mean. Got you here. Michelle, 4755. That one's for Mentor Mentor. Uh -huh. This one, I have you, Michelle, 4755 for $90. That is a great claim. Uh, do you need that name? It's Michelle, like M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, 4755. Man, you guys are eating these up. I'm going to have to show more next time. These are so special. Really, really awesome. All right. This guy. This is the next one. And this is like... Mahalo. Ari, ari, arigato. Arigato gozaimasta. Um, yeah, this is just like Super 7 Heaven. Like, I haven't seen really good Super 7s like this in a long time. They're just crazy good. And they're polished, which makes them, you can't see them. I mean, you can't tell what's going on if they're not polished. Tanya, these are Super 7 crystals from Madagascar with all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Look at this. This has a complete negative crystal inside right i think that's a negative crystal and then it's got a layer here this is specular hematite and then it's got regular red hematite needles and black rutile needles and amethyst and yeah stellar stellar this is the size 
This is the price, 767, 75 bucks. Super, super piece. It's a super piece, super piece. <laughs> Miggy, Miggy 061. Thank you, my friend. I got you claimed for that one. All right, I got a couple more of these. There's four more, and they're more expensive, and they're ridiculous. Um, actually, I'm gonna show this one first. This is from the same pocket or the same area. This is this is not a Super Seven per se, but like, look at what the heck is going on here. Oh my god, I get this lit. I gotta get this lit right. So there's like amethyst on the top and clear in the center, and then there's amethyst actually only on the top. But so like this is like this weird inclusion in here. It's almost like a scepter, but I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Let me get this right exactly where it needs to be. There's like a. It's like a scepter of hematite with a head of just amethyst zoning. You see that? You see how it's like a crown right here? And it's attached in some way to this. This is like the scepter-ish type of growth in there. Super clean, totally facetable. The bubble hasn't been shown yet, T and me. I'm gonna show that one in a minute. Uh, let me write this down here. Yeah, this one is super special. It's not Super 7, but it's really different. It's completely clean, and it's got this weird craziness in there. That was 100 bucks. Special piece. And one more that's similar to that. And then I've got four more Super 7s to show you, but I want to show you these two first. And this one is, let's see if you see there's like an amethyst zoning phantom in there. And it's super clean. There we go. That's probably the best angle. You can see the amethyst phantoms. I mean, this is like water clear quartz. This is just like, what is going on? Here's the size. And that one's 150. Look at it. Look at it like that. It's like... You can see the zoning in there. That's just really special. I bought these because of that zoning in the center there. That's really unusual. We see amethyst phantoms a lot. It's but we don't see totally water clear amethyst like this super super often. And then this little like phantomy thing in the bottom is I don't even know if it's a phantom. It's like a scepter zoning situation. It's really weird. Anyways, that one's one fifty. Super gem. Super gem. All right, back to the Super 7s. Those are here and available if you need. And we're going to go, we're going to take it to the next level now. It's definitely panty dropper time. So, you know, go get a change of, of underoos. Um, all right, let's do this one first. This is the one with the bubble. Slabbed Heroes, I can see your comment. Uh, if I don't call your comment out when you make a claim, usually it's because it has numbers in it or something. So if you're shadow banned, um, spell it out, use emojis, use num you know anything but numbers if you can. I'm seeing most of my comments and I have, a, I have multiple accounts open so that we can see it from different accounts. Um, so if I don't speak your comment, or your claim, just let me know. Or say it again, basically. So this one is just ridiculously loaded. It's loaded to the hilt. Like, what the fuck? That's ridiculous. This is specular hematite in the bottom here. 
needles like crazy. I can't, I mean, I don't even really need to speak about this crystal. It just speaks for itself. I will say that I think there's a bubble in this one. Yep, there's, wait, yeah, wait. Hold up. Is that the bubble that I was thinking of? There's a, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, there it is. So the bubble goes from here to here. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. And it's also got this yellow stuff in the top, right? there and it's just chock full of amazingness that one is 150 this is the size 766 is the skew that's too good to be true but it's not I wouldn't say that because it's incredible <clears throat> Maggie, I got you on that. Maggie 061. Awesome claim. That's a crazy piece. All right. Three more to go. And let's see what order should we go in. Let's do... Let's do this one. So, I don't know if I need to say anything about this. Look at this. What is this wacky stuff? Mm, wow. What the hell is that? Don't ask me. I'm not even sure, but it's pretty crazy that's the reason i bought this lot this is just crazy 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 yep and of course it's got all this stuff look at this so it's got the black the red the yellow and then purple wow yeah uh, did i keep one of these i did yeah, yeah i kept a big one actually I'm glad because if I sell them all and then I forget to keep one, and I've done that before and I get so mad. It's like, oh, why'd you do that? I did that early on with some stuff before I knew that like you had to keep one if it was really good because it might not ever come again. Like they had these amphibole quartzes from Pakistan that were pink. Oh, they were so good. I didn't keep one. I was so mad. And then there was these like perfect, perfect chlorite phantom like our fodden courses with chlorite going through the middle like really really good ones completely gem and i didn't keep one of those either and i was just like man you dumbass i learned my lesson i saw it at the main show in some major collector's case like un like a couple of years later like some like multi-millionaire had one of these pieces in like this crazy collection of quartz and i was like oh that came from me why didn't i keep one <laughs> so i learned early on to make sure that i Keep a good one if you find stuff that's unusual. So I have a really good one of these. It's probably like three inches or something. And I paid a good lick for it. Um, so I don't need to keep these. I can't keep them all. I got to offer them. Got to eat. Can't eat rocks. Right, T and me? Wink, wink. Mm. Gonna have to eat rocks one of these days because it's all we got. Anyways, this thing is just ridiculous. I don't even need to talk about it. Obviously, it speaks for itself. This one's two hundred and thirty-five dollars, seven seventy. And yeah, no, it, I don't even need to talk of anymore. I'm just gonna sit here and meditate. Ready? Here, I'm gonna meditate. Take a deep breath with me. <laughs> All right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, go clean up your panties. <laughs> That's just so ridiculous. That is the most ridiculous quartz. 
um, they get better. <laughs> Believe it or not. This one is a little bigger. I'm going to show this one first. And it doesn't have as much yellow, but it's still just loaded. And look at this. All right, so it's got this hematite thing in the center here. And then this is all complete on the bottom. Look at this. Look at this yellow. This is just stupid. I mean, how much more... How many more needles can you pack in this thing? Like, it's the perfect amount because you you know you could pack more in, but you wouldn't see it. It'd be so dark you couldn't see it. But this is just like, it's not even fair. How is this real? Definitely a soul in there. They all speak. They all have personalities. They all definitely have little beings inside of them, and some of them more than others. Really, just like knock you sideways this is one of those oh man we're almost out of time shit i better hurry up well i mean i guess we don't have too much else to show we're gonna be uh going live again tomorrow night uh same bat time same bat channel 8 p.m uh we got 18 minutes 18 minutes to go so i'm just gonna take my time here anyways this one is bigger this is like this size Whereas this one is this size. This one is 235. This one is 300. Double terminated. These are all, they were scepters at one point, but they just didn't grow the stem, except for the last piece that I'm going to show you. It's a scepter and it has the stem. This is the scepter right here. The first growth is the specular hematite growth. All right, so here's the last one. You'll probably fight over it. Check this out. So it has this red craziness, like super saturated red, and it's got a scepter on the side. And of course it's got the needles. is uh, it speaks for itself also i almost don't need to say anything the red is ridiculous that is not common very cool super completely loaded with schmutz <laughs> <laughs> the good kind of schmutz Yeah, that's a crystal. That's a keeper. Mm -hmm. Except I'm selling it, so it's not a keeper for me. But I, it's good enough to be a keeper. But I got a good one already, so I let it go. Look at this. Yes, it's polished, Kyanite Delight. It has to be polished to really show it off. Like, there's a couple faces that aren't polished. You can kind of see how you can't really see inside that well. Uh, yeah, now that one's not polished. This one's not polished. Um, but these are, and it really shows off the stuff going on. I like how there's like this square situation going on on the inside there. That's like mud. You can see it here, like the mud. It like circles around that there. Yeah, and then that's natural there. So it's double terminated here. Double terminated here, it's got the scepter, and that is just crazy. So, without further ado, that one is 275. 
seven seven four. That's a super crystal. And that is the Super 7s for the evening. Definitely had some bangers. So we got these three major guys left. And these are the two with the zoning. Um, let me see. Got this. I'll show you this now. Don't have a lot of time left. This one's pretty sweet too. So this is an Inhydro. And this one does a little dance. I was playing with this thing earlier. I was like breaking off a piece of the bubble. How was I doing that? I think it was this way. No, how was I doing it? I had this thing going on with this where Oh yeah, watch. All right, so no, I get the bubble up in there, and then I no, I was breaking breaking this bubble off in one of these cavities and making two. It was really kind of cool. I could do it on my own. Um, did I price this? Yeah, I priced it. It's got lots of rainbows in it, and it's got a really big bubble. It's got like what looks like, right where the bubble is, it looks like a mountain range. Mm -hmm. Those are all like terminations of a negative crystal. Let me zoom in on that. Minecraft. You see all those? Right where the bubble is, it's like mountains. Like it's going up, the bu water's going up inside there. Oh, that's how I broke it off. Watch. So watch that water. See that? I'm going to break it off. No. I swear I was getting it up in there. Up in that? Ooh. I see it. It's gone in there. Oh, it came back. Stabbed by Shirley. The Moldavite giveaway. Um, I know that we sent them out already. I don't know if we announced it. We're going to do lots of Moldavite giveaways. Um, but last month's, I know I just passed them off to the shipping department. I have to ask my people who won because it didn't go the didn't go through my hands there it goes look i broke it off see that all right and then it goes back all right you see that watch that all right so we get stuck in there all right you can't stay in there no no go back in there all right yeah all right so it's there and then i can break it off like come on it's like cell division oh come on it's like this little game i had going on earlier it's like try to get the bubble stuck anyways i could play with this thing all night oh, 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 oh. there we go oh come on anyways oh there it is look all right so i broke it off see there's a bubble there and there's a bubble there and then when i when you move it it jumps back it's like no, mommy, wait for me. No, wait for me. Oh, see there, broke it off. Yep, yeah, it's fine. I'm not in a hurry. And mommy's like, oh, let me save you. Oh, mom, don't leave me. All right, must be getting late. There it is. That's how I figured it out. All right, so boom, break it off. And come on. There we go. Anyways, super cool piece. Lots of fun with the bubble. It definitely is something that you can just sit there and play with forever. It's like cell division. And yeah, so I think I showed you my little games with the little bubbles in there for a while. Anyways, this one. Oh, look at the number. 777s. That was 325. It's got rainbows. It's got a bubble. See, you can see the rainbows now when I turn it like that. They're just like 
all these rainbows in there. Anyways, so yeah, we got this bubblicious, bubblegumicious thingy. Amazing in hydro. That's a pretty good price for a really good in hydro. Uh, and hydros can be very expensive. I've definitely paid over a thousand dollars for a good in hydro. Um, and that's a really good one. And it's the only one other than this crazy one that I showed you. Dun, 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 dun. For those of you that were like, oh, what do I do? Probably shouldn't have priced out so low, but I'll show it again just for fun. This one is 800 and it's got like a little metallic thing that goes flying up and down the crystal at lightning speed where the bubbles go at like slow speed and it's like hyperdrive and there's at least i think there's at least five bubbles in there it's kind of hard to count with all of the little cavities in there and it's a palm sized crystal Very good motion on bubbles. Yep, super awesome piece. I got eight minutes before we got to turn off, so um, not really gonna get into too much else to show you. Uh, I do have this little guy. I got a couple randoms that I can show you. This is from Japan, amethyst from Japan. Uh, I don't remember the locality, but I can get it for you if you want it. So found in little rhyolitic geodes, kind of like the Morala crystals, but they don't really, the geodes kind of fall apart. And that's super cool. The locality is awesome. And that one, 76, 76 dollars it should have been. But the, tick, the sticker was already there, so $75. $75 all the way from Japan. It's even got a little box. Look there. It's from Japan. Yeehaw, it says, hi, I'm a crystal. I need to go home with you. I can't read Japanese. Arigato gozaimasu. All right. Must be getting late. So we got that. And here's another random thing I can show you that I only have one of prepared tonight. I have more of these somewhere, but uh, this is a pair of sapphire crystals that are almost a matching pair. That would I originally bought these because I was going to make earrings with them because they're like the perfect length. And when do you ever find elongated sapphires like that not very often they're usually not long like that and these are really close in length and they would make a really good pair of earrings by somebody they are heated that's part of the deal that's why they're why they're super blue Thank you, Chelsea. We appreciate you being here. Please, if you're available, join us tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, and we will do it all over again. Uh, we do have a TikTok account. It isn't really doing what we want it to do, and we're probably going to start over. Um, I had somebody who was, like, using it earlier this year, and he just, like, friended the first 6,000 people, and I think that TikTok shadow banned us, and... We're going to start over on TikTok. Um, but we do have an account there. We're going to probably keep that account, but we're going to start another account. So if you want to help us go viral and get 25,000 people in a week, that would be sweet. Um, I'm a little too old to understand the TikTok vibe, but, you know, we can figure it out. And look at this is Jamie here. Anyways, this pair, both of them together, 
is $120. It'll make a nice pair of earrings. All right. Okay, quick recap. We got those three there. We got these crazy, crazy Super 7s. And we got these super crazy zone things, amethysts. And we got the Anhydro, the Japanese crystal, and the sapphires. And I'm going to leave you all with a little bit of music. As we did starting out the show, there's Nicole. <laughs> She's the brains behind everything. And I got four minutes before they kick me off. to boost and jumpstart the American hand pan scene. 